How we doing, people? It's um, David Rooney here, um, doing a bit of commentary for the tournament this weekend. Keeps me involved, I can't play. Um, doing Big George and Jason first. Um, George had a, it's a wee bit of a delay because George turned up with his jammies on. Thought he could thought he could still play like that, so he gets sent to Tesco to get a pair of George trousers. Um, then he came back and burst out one of them, so he had to go back again and get another pair. So that's us ready to go. Um, I'm in myself, so if anybody wants to ask questions or interact through the chat, we can get a laugh, talk about the game, answer questions. Tables are absolutely lightning. Played a few weeks ago on it for the operation, and they're just they're just classed. Um, he's got somebody on every day level on them. They're recovered regularly, and it's just I, I, it's it's going to be a dish fest. I think this weekend it's just it's just attacking pool. Um, that's what the table are allowing. Yeah, got a fancy big jaws for here. I'd probably like to have a wee soft screw here for the one over to the left, but I don't know if he can quite hold it. We'll see. Oh, he's leaving that for later. Oh, there's a couple of ways you can go here. You probably get rid of this one. Um, Closest to the right hand side sooner rather than later. I think he's choosing to maybe just bump it a wee bit. Make it. Yeah, the problem is when you start moving balls, already go, just creates problems. And this is where I think um, it separates a, what kind of the elite to very good players. Um, it's not that kind of guys can't put the same balls as elite players or this and that, but. Um, these guys at the top of the ultimate pool and stuff like that, they just, go, they just go the right way and make it easy for themselves. But when you start hitting balls that you don't have to hit, and it, it, I mean, he's still fine, he's still fine, but it just makes it a wee bit more harder. Um, Martin, I think it's tight, I think it's tighter than what the odds suggest, to be honest. I mean, I think if you were betting, you'd probably bet the price on Jason at 5 to 4. I think it's closer than what um, people think. Um, I'll go for. 18, 12, Jason Hill to win. Um, I, know, I, I, I think George hits the ball great, um, and he does really well in his money matches. And I, f I, I, feel, I feel in tournaments he never seems to do as well as what he maybe should be doing compared to his money match results. Um, so I don't know if it's like a. He just he plays better for money, if there's that type of pressure, I don't know. Oh, that's a badness. Oh. Early nerves, I think. Yeah, um, both guys just set on in, obviously. Um, I don't expect to see much more of that, to be honest. Both guys are class players. Um, like I said, they're just set on into a match. It's hard. All right, Morgan. Mate, come on in, come on in, come on, drive over and get into the booth with me. I've been let down. Um, but do you think, Morgan, who's going to win this game? You're quite good at your predictions and stuff like that. I like asking you. You're, in, you're always in the know. Wow. Oh my goodness me. How? I mean, that's, you can hit that. You've got so much room to play with there. I mean, uh, maybe in the back he said he's thinking that you're not like to flirt with my middle bag, but I mean, that's, that's schoolboy stuff there. Schoolboy stuff, especially when you're playing a, a tournament at this level. And I know it's early days, but when you if you end up losing a match with a frame or two, you can start to look back at these things and, and it can be it can be, it can be quite big. And you know, it's the first frame, first 18, but I, th I think Jason will probably play a safety here. Um, there's no point in going mental. Like I said, both guys are trying to settle in, so... Um, see, I'd be looking to turn a... I wouldn't just be playing a... leaving a one cushion escape here, I'd be trying to get tight, yep. 
decent effort, but mm, it's an easy hit. Um, and he still can hit, he can actually back heel it in another middle bag if he hits it right. He's flicked it. I mean, that's the thing. That, I mean, these things happen all the time. And don't get me wrong, at the safety was a shot there, but sometimes you're in a situation where you maybe could have went for a pot and you end up playing a snooker and the guy comes out and smashes it in and uh, you end up, uh, you deserve it because you, you had the chance because at the end of the day, every frame you play, if you get one chance, you would take it. And that was something I remember um, Gibbsy saying to me. But he's like, if you've got a chance, take it. And you're playing a safety, the guy deserves to just pot it in. You had your chance. So it's just a wee bit negative. But there, no, I think Jason played the right shot there. But so I'll just get lucky. Um, Morgan's went Tierney, 18-15. Uh, I mean, maybe the first frames went there. It's, it's going to be hard to, to say who's going to definitely going to win, but... Um, he didn't hit them right at all, did he? These are the ones where, I mean, you want to, I know it's first 18, right, and it's, you're, you're not going to win 18 now, but see the longer you can keep your opponent off the board, the better, and they start, they start to doubt themselves, and a lot of psychological things come into it. Um, so it's, it's, I mean, it's important for George to just put a mark on the match now, even though he's, he didn't play good that first frame. If he can just finish this at one visit, he's settled in. He's 2 now up. Jason's made a couple of mistakes. It'll already been in his head that he's going to get his finger out. And George is just going to... He's just overcooking this again. I don't know, the tables are lightning. Um, but, I mean, I think he's been practicing last night and this morning, so you'd, you'd think you'd, you'd be able to just screw that back six inches there for the ball in the middle and just work your way up the table. And it's really just connecting the dots. And like I said earlier, this is what separates um, good players from great players. I'm not saying he's not going to finish it or anything like that, but the good players don't even... They make it they make it look so easy and effortless. Um, now, Jolt, he's back in, he's back in position here. Um, I'd probably take um, the middle one first and screw it back for the one in the corner, make it easier with the angle he's got. I think that red goes between the two yellows in the corner, so uh, there's a couple of ways you can go here. Yeah. And he's getting rid of the other one first as well. See, I'd have screwed that back and get rid of that one there. Then you're basically here again for just three balls left. Now he's going to have to get back down for this ball at some point. Bit awkward queuing, but we missed one at this in the first frame up the line. Out of the bag. See, he's just he's travelling here. He's. I don't know why he didn't get rid of that other red first. Made it a lot easier. Maybe he's going to be bumping my yellow. He's going to be maybe flirting. Like, I don't think he can run through for the middle. Nice. I think he can maybe just push, push through and he'll maybe flick a yellow and come through for the red in the middle and he'll end up leaving the black in the corner depending on what angle he is. So a wee soft screw into the yellow here to hold the white. Right. In the way George, the way George cues the ball, I think he's a great potter. Um, you can see he's got the snooker back down, I think he hits the ball great. Still went in, but still went in. 2 0 Tierney. Um, don't know if he's bet. If anybody's got any bets on him, let us know. Let's hear the bets. Um, I know Paul was doing odds and stuff. Um, there must have been a couple of coupon busters yesterday. And a couple of the results. I know Lewis was a short odds favourite against Brian. Get beat. And Gareth Higgins was one of the tournament favourites. A um, couple of shocks, so let us know. Just having a wee look at the other game as well here, it's one on our screen. Never seen any of these two guys playing, Declan Duff or Dave Portman. I've heard Declan Duff's a star. So it'll be interesting to see, I'm going to keep a wee eye on that as well. Um, Jaws can't win this event. How would he get cabbages? Um. 
well, I understand what you're saying, Barry, right, but see the thing is, regardless whether he wins the event or not, he'll still get the games that, that he wants because people just want to beat him so much and there's people that are putting themselves in a position where maybe they're maybe even not that they're not good enough and they'll still they just want to beat him that much because he like his lives and he'll coax them into it. So that's why I, I said Barry, I don't think if George wins this it'll um it'll damage his, his money matches or anything like that and how he can play, to be honest. Because at the end of the day I think the field is um, the field is quite level, but um, it's although there's a favourite and there's something to through. But I mean, I think any one of them could have won the event. Um, so I wouldn't say if George wins it, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to hinder his his money match. People just want it. No, Craig, you're right. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Regardless where he wins, I know people just want to beat him. Um, he'll slag you, he'll do this, do that, and I, I think he's funny. Um, and that's why he gets it. He's not daft. He's definitely not daft. The guy's, the guy's a very intelligent person. And that's why he's been doing it for so long. People keep doing it. Um, mental health, one lad. I don't know who that. I don't know who that is. Um, no limit, Gary. There's a joker. I know, I wish I'd somebody I knew me, mate. I'm just trying to keep um, talking, talk about the game, talk about George. Um, Cause there's nobody in to help me. Um, hope you're right. Aye, the, the operation, I mean, it's went well. It's the same it's went as well as it could have went. Um, still can't see out the, the right eye. Just using my left eye for vision, which is all right. I've got the contact lens in there, I can see well enough. Um, but it's just a kind of long process with a lot of medication daily and stuff like that to um, help it. Apparently that's that's just as important as the operation itself, the steroids and stuff. That helps the healing process and the vision get back eventually. But I just need to keep going. I'll have another operation in about a year's time to get the stitches back out of the eye and then we see where we go from there. Hopefully maybe next year or something. I may see my point pool again, <laughs> don't know. Um but aye, thanks very much. No, Craig, you're right, you do need characters in the pool. I think George is great for the game. Absolutely brilliant for the game. You see it? He's, I mean, there's probably nobody else that pulls in more viewers than him. You've seen the views he gets for his money matches and this and that. I mean, nobody else does that. Nobody else. Something you do at the big money matches, like you're, when you see Clinton De and Declan playing, I think it's next week. I bought for that, but I mean, you see George playing a Friday night, and there's hundreds and hundreds of people on the watch George. And he's put himself into that situation, and I'm telling you what, he puts himself under a lot of pressure because of the way the way he is. And hats off to him; he deals with it. He deals with it quite. He deals with it quite well. Um, cause it must be hard, and you must feel the pressure when you know there's a lot of people that do want you beat. And I'm not saying not get fan, but a lot of people do want you beat. So when you're playing that kind of pressure, it's hard. Um, but just looking back at the game now, I think this is very important for Jason to take out. Um, although, oh, it doesn't, doesn't want to stick to that. Wow. Don't know. I don't know. Doesn't look as if he's on it. See, the, this is what happens. See, when you're 2-0 down, you're trying on the board and it's a tap in. These things can happen. Um, and your, your head starts to go. It's so tough. It's so tough. People don't realise. Um, it's so easy when you're watching and stuff like that. And, they go, how can you not finish this, how can you not do that? But it's when you're there and your head is going, you're two 0 down already, you've had chances and then you're sticking to the balls, you just think none's gonna go right for you. Um and you think Jason's a class player. He has I've played him a couple of times at the IPA. All experience, but you will start to have these wee doubts in your head now that this is maybe not meant for me. I know it's early doors, but the longer it takes to get off the board. How hard that is. Um, that is cheating big player in this event, mate. It's something. Um, White Rose Pool. I, I see, I've been out of the game for a few years now, really. Like, going to tournaments and stuff. There's a lot of players I don't know now. Um, so, I mean, I'm quite I'm quite blind, <laughs> literally, in this event. Um, with a lot of players. That's a great shot, George. That's a fantastic shot. 
I mean, he's just went absolute odds on here. Um, so I don't know a lot of players. Um, I mean, before it, going with everybody was saying, with, uh, the same people were saying Declan Duff was a good bet for the tournament. Um, but I'd like to see one of the Scottish boys win it. Um, with Barry or Steed, really good friends with them. I'd love to see one of them too win it. Um, young Brian, good result yesterday. Um, all of them are capable of winning this. That's what I'm saying. It's just such an open event. Uh, so I, I hope I didn't catch any yesterday. Um, not the racing, so I'll catch most of the day. And I'll probably have a better idea. I think I don't know why he's not bashing that to be honest, because he's only doing many favours there. Probably just want to flick that ball and have a bash at that. Uh, cheers, Jamie. Doing all right. Um, Jamie, I can't see. If, if it was normal circumstances and I was playing and stuff like that, I, f I, I would, I would fancy it to be honest. But no, I mean, I'd been putting myself in a situation if I didn't have the operation, I'd have practice for two weeks and stuff. So I would rather be playing regularly before I start playing big things again. We'll see. Maybe next year if I can get the eyes sorted. Um, uh, Ryan Davy, absolute legend. Um, wish you were here, mate. Help me. Um, an odd guy probably, if he played in this, he just probably isn't allowed in this, to be honest. The best tip for a pool cue? <sighs> I mean, I've got a thing, I can't remember the thing I've got in mind. I get it put on about five years ago, as long as I've had a tip. Um, it's, it's solid, everybody always thinks it's fallen off, but... I mean, you can't go wrong with a good, a good elk master if it's... Maybe a compressed elk master, so reliable. Um, I mean, I mean, I know there's all these layered tips and stuff like that now, but it's just whatever you're comfortable with. Some people like softer tips, some people like harder tips. I like the harder ones, but I mean, I know my, my mate, Paddy McMillan, um, who's probably one of, the, one of the best players ever, won everything in the game, and he's, he uses a blue diamond, still uses a blue diamond, and they're, they're shocking. <laughs> Ryan, come on now, mate. I'm timing you. Ah, uh, fan, I agree. No, I understand what you're saying. It was a bit unfortunate when they did hit that knuckle, but um, seeing you're at that stage and the things are going for you, that's the kind of things that happen. And everyone just panned out perfect for him. But Jason's managed to get his sail back in here. I just missed that. Um, job just, this is what I'm saying. When you try and play too many safeties and you get your opponent in, like a wee bash here and there, this is, again, these are the things that separate the good players from the great players, in my opinion. Um, I think Jason's just, I think he's just got to take the medicine here and just make sure the pot. You can try and soft scoot off the side cushion, maybe check it off side and bottom. Take him back up for the back in the corner. Yep, just like that. He's put too much screw on it. He's actually played it. He's actually played it too well. He's got too much screw on it. I thought he'd maybe just be able to just slide by that red and the check off the bottom cushion again, but it looks like a back heel in the middle for me, unless he can cut up the top bad, but we'll still go for the back heel. Um, you've always got a chance of going on the middle as well. Um, the th what's the top? I think it's just one of the IPA tops, mate. He's wearing top tips of the day. Um, I've not had a look yet. I've not had a look yet. Um, I need to look at horses or nothing, mate. Um, I'll be looking shortly, though. To see. I'll, I'll share my wisdom, my donations. Um, the grand tips, John Owen. Um, ah, I mean, listen, I've, I've, there's, there's so many tips now, but I mean, I don't even know half of them. People are mentioning all these tips. I'm like, what is that? So I think it's just whatever you're, whatever you're comfortable with, to be honest. I mean, no, he's tried it. I mean, it's so, the pool is it's so psychological as well. Um, I mean, that's a kind of shot. See if you're, see if you're like five knots and stuff like that. They just fly in. I don't even think about it. And you're two 0 down up against it. I know it's first eighteen, it's a long match, but I'm telling you this will be affecting Jason here. Um now George will go game here, I suspect I expect because you get balls up there, I'd like to be a bit better angle on this to be fair. Um you've got balls there as soon as you get up the table. You can maybe play a wee bump in the black or whatever. I mean I'd rather be straighter on that plant there. But Says you don't want to be moving this all red towards the black and things start going awkward. This is about can go wrong. So for me, I think you've got to take the, the one over the pocket. Yep, and come back out. 
and maybe not even just move it off. I see that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I, I mean, I don't care if he finishes or not. It's just that's a wrong shot for me. There's every single ball that went. All he did was screw back for the one in the middle. We just joined the dots, and now he's. Let's see what I mean. He's still having this. It's unbelievable. It just nobody. They, you don't have to hit balls out. Don't hit balls out that go. Don't try and move balls out that go. It's much easier to to play a position on it than hit it and you're relying on luck to get onto a ball. And it's just it's just unnecessary and that's how you end up on ball like this. Don't be wrong, you I mean you should still win the frame because you can you can still you can probably even play the pot here. So I think the red still goes in the middle and then if you miss the black is maybe a double or you're leaving a bash but that's just nuts. I don't know, it's not even that. That shot wasn't the one that he's tried there. Actually, it looks 50 meter red goes in the middle if you just play on it. Um, I'm just going to smash this, maybe. No, he's playing a safety. Again, don't really like that shot. It's a good shot. I know he's got the snooker, but seeing you're putting the, you're putting the, you know you're putting the black towards the bag. So regardless where you get the snooker or not, if you're if you're, if you're a decent player, you can you can work this out. Side cushion, just cut this black in. I mean, you've got to fancy it. Eddie, it's, da it's David Rooney, mate. How you doing? Long time no speak. Um, I didn't agree with that shot. George's favourite for the full event. I disagree with that, mate. I don't think he won. No, I know. There's no need to move any balls here, mate. All went. This is, this is nuts. I don't. Oh, he still hit it. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it's. He did hit that there. What's happening? Oh my god, I've won. I've got one iron, so I, so I hit that. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's not the worst, it's better than going to be two. But George has still got a wee pot here in the middle. Just drop it in, and the black's there. Nah, he's nowhere near. Jason just lock this in, start to sell into the game. Alright, Eddie boy, I'm doing alright, mate. Aye, just getting on, mate. I hope you're good as well. Um, miss seeing all the boys at the, the pool and stuff, so it's good to, good to speak to you. I mean, I, I'm telling you what, he'll be one of these man to go off the board. Um, I know, Craig, I don't know what was happening there, to be honest. Um, but I, Jason, will be very relieved to go off the, off the board now. Because, um, like I said, the longer sitting on zero, the harder everything becomes. Tapping's become hard. You just see problems instead of, instead of what t solutions. It's crazy how how it messes with your head. Uh, oh, she didn't go. Tried to move on as well. I mean, it probably didn't go out. I mean, for me, it looked as if it, it could have dropped in the middle. Um, but if he was trying to move it, he, he couldn't move it the way he played it. I can assure you that. Um, I thought it was a little bit tones of the dog. <laughs> Alright, Jamie, boy. Again, somebody else I've not seen for ages. I don't see anybody anymore. So it was quite, it was quite good when Paul asked me to come in here. And, um, I'm like, aye, that'll be a good laugh. I was hoping somebody else would be in, but we'll see what happens later. So that's twice Jason's went in half in the break. Um, not good enough to be honest at this level. Um, George will probably be looking to stamp his authority again back in the match. For, should have meant 3-0 there, but um, again, long race. But it's not been a great standard to be honest. It's, it's not been as good as I thought it would be. Um, deck on Duff in the table. He's 5 now up. Not really looked at much yet. Yeah, good ref. I think it's a Von, Von Ewan's ref in the, the match. What well, experience, but I don't know. Maybe she was standing too far away for that last shot. So I think that's Dave Portman just put one back in our game. He'll be relieved to 5 now down. Um. Thanks, Daniel. Um, if you're being serious, I'd never know these days. Um, <laughs> well, I can take a laugh anyway, it's alright. Now, George. 
just this, if he's soft stunned that game, I might have he's probably just went, I did like to have a bit straighter on this. He might be like a soft screw this into the red. Soft screw this into the red middle of the table and it holds. And then you want to be on the one closest to the bag and then it's just dropping in. Everyone just goes in the middle, 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 black and all middle. Um, so a wee soft screw into the red here if he can, I don't know. Um, if not, he might have to go up first, but again, these wee shots before that, he's not came round to see exactly where he wants to wait. So that's why you end up in a situation and go, oh, I must have ran through my baby bit there or whatever. So it's always worth it's always worth like taking your time and see if you're not sure. Take a walk around the table. Don't don't bother people say oh you're taking too long. Don't, don't. Who cares? He's actually over I think he's trying to play the soft screw there in the red, but he's not bad. You can actually just drop this in and play the other yellow into the other corner if you land straight on it, and then you just it just drops in the middle. Cheers, Jamie. Ah, it's not easy to be honest. Um, I wish somebody was here, but I said I would do it, so I wasn't going to, wasn't going to back out. Shot, George. Um, so it's just again, we soft score for the black in the middle, and it's three-one, George, and he definitely does look the more, the more comfortable of the two players. Uh, although Jason's been unlucky a couple of shots, um, he has made a couple of mistakes, and I think maybe. George has been playing a lot of these kind of big matches in the long races and they do definitely help you. I mean, it doesn't matter, I know Jason plays the IPA and stuff like that and you're practising, but see, match experience counts for so much, counts for so much. When you're constantly in this kind of situation, you're used to these pressures and stuff like that and the different swings and matches that happens and the way luck changes and you can deal with it better. Um, so, I mean, I don't know the last time Jason played a first 18 competitively, whereas George is playing long races all the time, so... Um, I do understand why he was favourite beforehand, but hi Jamie. Oh, oh I've got a wee half here to help me. <laughs> so hi, that's probably what's keeping me going. I'm, I don't know if there's any breaks in that. Um, later on to. Get a breather. I mean, I missed a couple of people to come in, but it's a bit early as well. We'll see. That's a massive break for Georgia. Um, a couple of things good to me. If, I mean, for me, I would go. I would go yellows. Um, I actually would take the one at the top, next to the, the top left, the second one in, and I would play a shot with a wee bit left hand side and come off the cushion and nudge the other yellow close to the red in the middle bag and just free that up and it means everything goes and you leave another yellow over the other side for the... Is he playing a 2 one Yep, good shot. I just thought, I, I still don't think it was the right shot, it's worked out great but if you miss that you're then on reds and you're in all sorts of bother. Um, so I'd rather play the other shot first there and just kicked into that as a free shot. And you're still leaving everything um but everything available. So again, good shot. I, do, I feel as if it was an a, an unnecessary risk for me. Because if you miss that two and one, you're on reds and you're in all sorts of bother there. Oh no, Jamie, I'm taking it easy, mate. I'll be alright. Um I will play cuts for 10k. <laughs> no, Jamie, no, I don't think MD's going to be going to be daft enough to start him. Ah, there's George moving balls again. It's, it's all right. But he's going to again. I, I might have to screw. I don't know, see if we can actually screw off the side cushion here for the hanger and come back across. It's probably his best bet without nudging any yellows. You, you just don't like hitting balls all the time. You don't like hitting balls. Yep, that's a shot. Right over. That's a great shot. Perfect. Yep, that was a shot. And George will probably just leave his a shot here for the black in the corner. A lot of guys will maybe be looking and saying, oh, I want the black in the middle to make it easier, but George cues the boss so well, he just, he'll just look to leave his a shot in the black in the corner. Um, come off with two cushions off the, off the last one.
Yep, so, I mean, he's looking in the middle here. I, th I, th I think this is, this is dangerous. Um, I would rather just leave myself a shot in the corner, just come off with two cushions. You're guaranteed a shot. Guaranteed. Now he's... I mean, he's on a, 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 this, this is just a gain. You're now going to have to play a double. Um, because you're having to play a hard positional shot where you could have guaranteed yourself a shot in the black there by just playing for it in the corner. Guaranteed. So... To me, that tells me that you're not 100% confident because see when you're 100% confident, you just leave yourself those shots. You just you don't even think about playing fat in the middle there. You just, you just, you just go right, I'm just going to leave that black there because I'm guaranteed a shot on it and bang it in. Now, that's a schoolboy error there for me. Um, not in the midst of the black, not the cut in the black in the middle. I mean, it was a, that was a tough cut, but he shouldn't be leaving his cell that. He leave his cell a, a, a straight black in the corner there. He's not missing that. He could the ball great. So, that tells me he's not feeling 100% um, confident. Because that's the kind of shots you play when you want to make it so easy for yourself. And you don't feel as if you're queuing that great. Um, I mean, these should be. I just, Jason just doesn't look comfortable for me. He's, he just, I feel as if he's just. He, he's looking at things as so hard and pro and problematic. Um, I mean, I'd probably leave that ball. Um, at the right hand side for last I would just play for the other one here and come down the table and leave that to last because I think if you play for in the middle you're, it's kind of hard to go on your next ball so I would just leave that one there and come back down the middle of the table here for the other one yeah, that's a good shot that's a good shot I like that I'm glad he didn't play for in the middle there I didn't think that was that wouldn't, that wouldn't have been a good shot now, I'd probably take it now, see how you're on it, quite decent. I would just get rid of this one here, next to the black. Um, and you've got a choice to either stun over the other one or, or screw it back. And leave the other one for your last ball. So a couple of things you can do here, but I, I think I see the right shot, getting rid of this ball. Maybe you're on it, decent. I don't know about that shot, I don't think that shot was on to play for that ball. I mean, I thought the, stuff, the stun out for the other ball was, was, was guaranteed position. I mean, this is, this is a wee tricky one here, it's a wee delicate soft screw off the side. Just, ah, there's been, you can see a difference when you watch matches and when you're watching, but when you've been treated to all ultimate pool stuff and the IPA and the standard, it's, you can actually see the difference. It's just patterns, it's just patterns. Um, I like to say Dunstan stuff like that, I mean, they don't even, they just go the right way, they don't even think about it, it's just, it's natural. I mean, he's all over the camp here. All over the camp. Um, he might have to. I, I, I wouldn't really like. He might just drop it and leave himself a shot, but I quite like um, spinning round angles just before middle bag here, the, the side. Um, and three or four cushions round the table. Snooker shot, they put it all on the, the, if you're on the pink at snooker and they maybe spin round to the black. I, mean, I don't I don't think it's a bad shot leaving that. A lot of people just like to leave themselves a shot, but I just I would feel confident to spinning round there. Um off a few cushions with a bit of side. Um but when you're three one down, this this is a lot harder. This is a lot harder than when you're three one up, I can assure you. Just make sure you pop. Naturally, on the black in the middle, he's, he's quite, he's actually hit it quite hard. He's actually played that right side, I think. But uh, he's nudged the black, he's got a shot, he'll be happy with that. Um, I actually thought naturally he was coming up for the black in the middle, but um, no, he'll be happy with that. Just, <laughs> I mean, I know he's not about an off right, but I'm looking at that. I'm saying if he hits this hard, this is going to be close to that corner. Um, that's where the shots I just I just load it with side, just take all all bags out of the equation. And it's hard you want, but I three two, it's not been great. Um, but it's, it's still really doors. You, you, both of these players are capable of just turning it on. Um, but for me, um. George does look the most more comfortable I feel as if Jason's making things look a wee bit more difficult than they actually are. Um, 
So, I mean, pre-flop, I thought it was an even game, and I'd probably, if I was betting, I'd have bet Jason at the price. But now, if I mean, if I had to choose, I'd probably think George is going to win now. But we'll see. Anything can, anything can happen. Like I said, it's such an even field. Um, oh, cheers, Chris. Aye. No, it's not. Um, he's played a couple of, he's played a couple of crazy ones, Chris. Uh, um, I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. Um, and it's actually, you watch him with his money match. I feel as if he plays better for his money match than he does in tournaments. That's why I don't, I don't think he'll win the tournament this weekend. Um, I actually think for this weekend, I would love to see um, Steed or Barry win it. Um, I think. But I think about the two of them, I think Barry's probably, I think Barry could win it, um, he's been playing well, he had a great, great weekend last weekend when he was away, um, he's back to where he was like a, a, kinda a year or two ago, looks like he's got that fire in his belly, he's playing, he's playing all the time, he's playing big matches all the time which helps, although Steed, I think Steed is probably what, on paper the best player, but he's not, not really been playing as much as Barry which I think, I, I think, um, is massive. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if Steed won it. No, 100%. I mean, he's on paper, he is the best there. But I think experience and table time, tournament practice, stuff like that, says a lot uh, for these things. But Steed's been there and done it. I mean, I'd be, I'd be happy to see any one of the two of them win it. Two good mates. Um, I don't know which side of the draw they're in, I think. Um, I think they would play in the semi if they win their next game. So uh, I'll go for um, Steed or Barry. Um, I thought Declan Duff seems to be running away bit over another table. Uh, seven one I've, again. I've not really been keeping an eye. I don't really know any two of them. So when I say somebody's going, to, I don't even know what this is. It, um, I don't. I've never seen Daz Cheatham play. I've never seen Richie Comiskey play. And I've never seen Sean Walls play. Um, but I know Greg Casey was one of the favourites as well. So that's another. That's another shock. I'm just looking at the results there. Wow. I think um, Paul and Terry must have um, made a few quid yesterday with the bookies, I think. I was actually hoping somebody was listening. <laughs> they said in the pub now. Um, to get me a drink, I don't know why I leave here, but uh, back to the game. Jason is just it should just be drawing the dots here. I mean I'd love to get on the other one in the middle next. I don't know. He's, he's, he's got a free shot to try and go on the one in the middle. Um, sorry, one of the boys came in there, um, Stephen Corr, a guy that I met when I was about nine or ten on holiday and we kept in touch all these years and ended up in the pool scene and that's the first I've seen him. So, um, great guy Stephen, he's one of the Irish boys, he fancies Declan Duff strongly to win this. Um, I mean, looking at it, I, I mean it's hard to say, otherwise the, the way he's the way he's just steamrolling this Dave Portman just now. Um Jamie, it's the pain in that's away. Um I'm taking it's like a hundred drops a day and steroids, antibiotics that you're on for a few months. Um the vision's not there. Can't see it in out the right eye, but it's that's the process. Thanks very much, mate. That's the process. Um and they did tell me that it was gonna be it was gonna take time and I'm going to get another operation to get the stitches back out. Um, but it's weird when you think about the process and how they did the operation and how it's even possible. Um, that you've got somebody else's eye in you. But, aye, I'm used to it now. Just getting on with it. Um, three, that was a good finish for Jason there. That's that, I mean, it's good winning a frame, getting a frame on the board, but see doing it at one visit, that will help his confidence. Um, George's, 
I just I, I feel as if Tierney Tierney was the be best bet pre tournament for the price. Uh, Sean, see, to be honest, I mean, there's a lot of good prices of isn't he? It wasn't even really short. In my opinion, I thought it was really tight field, and you could have argued for anybody. You could have argued for absolutely anybody. Um, I wouldn't be betting anybody at heavy odds on for a match in this tournament, really. Um, like, like yesterday, with, with Lewis and Brian, very good pals with Lewis. Um, and I mean, I think the guy's capable of a lot more than what he's shown. Um, Right, just a cracking player. Sometimes he's just, I don't know what goes on in his head. Um, but, I mean, 49 yesterday, you couldn't bet that for me. Um, just There's just no value in that for a, a kind of tight game. Young Brian's, he's played for Scotland and stuff like that and played big money matches. So for me, 49 is just too short a price. Um, Dolphin Lynn with a value for me. Yeah, I thought Barry was good value. I, I think he gets gambled in a wee bit when he... Um, when he had a good weekend last weekend and it's probably done him favours as well maybe a bit of confidence coming to play Colin because beating Colin down he's not, it's not easy I mean Colin's been here a long time and he's tight on two coats of paint so he's not he's going to get in for free so beating him is a great result um, for Barry and it's in his home club as well I mean Colin's never out this place I mean any time I've ever been here Colin's been in here so good result for Barry uh, Aye, Jamie, that's what I'm doing, mate. Just doing what I'm told. Um, and just trusting the process. And everything happens for a reason. Um, and it's just got to take time. I, I miss it. I've missed it for years because I'll never be able to compete the way I used to. But I'll only ever come back if I can if I can see properly. I'm not going to waste my time. Uh, Duffel play Stephen in the next round. That could be a massive match. Aye. Um, Anthony Wilson, you're right, that'll be a great game. And see Steed, he rises when he does rise to the occasion. I've seen it so many times. Um, he's been there and done it. Um but there's been a couple of heavy contacts in this this um, match. I've seen a couple of kinda of weak kicks here and there. Um I Steed, that'll be a great game. They've probably a lot of money in that game. Um Steed's got a lot of supporters, I know a lot of people fancy Declan, so there'll be a lot of money in that game. That'll be interesting. Is it that? I don't even know, I've not got the schedule in front of me, but I think that could be a bit tonight, but yep. Um, so Jason here. There's a, you can actually, you don't actually have to play for the bottom one here. You don't have to, right? I actually wouldn't. Right, I would play for the one in the middle here and just leave the bottom one for the gap, and then you're just playing that in the corner and spinning round for the black in the other corner. Cause I feel as if here, you're making it harder. You've got a couple of positional shots to play. I would actually play for the middle one next year. Everybody's got their own way. I just, I, I mean, there's no wrong way of doing it there. It's just what you're called. I would have played for the middle one. You're bumping into reds here. You can cut your snook. You can snook yourself. Whereas if you played for the middle one there, you're just potting the balls. You're playing for that gap there and you're spinning around for the back in the corner. It makes it so much easier for yourself. Yeah, well, I mean he's fine. He's totally fine. Um, it's just how you see it. Um, I just I, I like to just try and make it easy for as possible myself with, with no traffic and no danger uh, hitting into balls. Um, aye, Anthony. I mean, like I said, you're not probably going to be far wrong. Um, with one of the that one that is, I think it's just such an even field. Uh, it's such an interesting tournament. Um, good money in it gives. Um, that this kind of level, a chance to win a lot of dough. Right. I mean, <laughs> watching this game, you you would never have predicted this. Um, with the way the frames have went, um, I think Jason's going to be delighted with this scoreline just now. Um, George is, I think he's away for a wee, I think he's away to the toilet. Um, a wee break, I think I might actually go and get myself a drink. We're back in five.
Um, right, guys, we're back. Um, I was just having a wee wander there talking to a couple of the guys. Um, they're saying Declan Duff and Dave Pope match have just been... It's just constant finishes over there. Whereas in this game, it's, it's not been great, to be honest. It's not been great. Um, they're, they're, I mean, whoever gets through here will need to up their game the next match. Not, there's still time to up it here, but at this level, you're not you're not going to be winning this. Um, let me see. Go away. Sorry. Uh, Steed. Oh, how you doing, mate? Aye, doing all right, mate. Uh, just getting on with it. I'm actually I'm happy about the day. I was hoping somebody's going to win the booth with me, but um, we'll see what happens later. Aye, here's for, I think I'm here for the most of the day. I'll be maybe going to be about six years or something like that. Um, that plans with the missus. Getting summoned. Uh, TRN one up to rope a dope tactics now. Nah, you're, you're wrong there, mate. You don't, you don't rope a dope for two and a half grand. I don't care what he says. Um, he's in this to try and win it. Um, at the end of the day, I think they're all even. I think it's such an even field. A couple. I mean, like this, the seeds probably played at the highest level in my opinion, um, and done a lot more. And I think he's capable of a lot more. For me, um, I mean, years ago he wouldn't even allowed in this tournament. That's that's the difference. So y there's different angles you can look at. It. You can look at it. Uh, Martin Keo, it's uh, David Junior. I Jamie said that I. Um, probably don't know me, mate. I'm a, um, I hardly know anybody these days as well. You've obviously seen that that, all, that much. Um, but I know a few people were asking for the the big tip of the day. Um, got one up last week, so we're going for uh, two in a row. I'm just going to look at it now, and I'll share it. Get your dough on it. It's um, Chelsea, Fulham, Luton. MK Dons, all to win. Um, 50 pays just over a monkey. So, um, happy birthday, everybody. There you go. That's a freebie. That's a freebie for myself. <coughs> That's with the 365 odd boost as well. Um, you get a wee, I think it's like 10% or 5% or something, I don't know. Um, aye, this match has just went scrappy. And then when you look at the other game, Every time I look glance over, it's just it's just a finish after finish. And see with these tables, you don't expect to see these kind of frames that often because they're so quick and open. Um George is trying to hang the bag here and he's not where near it. Um it's still quite even. I mean you'd love to have got your yellow out there if that red didn't go, but But you can see it. Aye. Oh, right. 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 Cheers. Cheers, Craig. Aye. The setup here is unbelievable. <coughs> um, Craig just showed me different things on the screens you can click on and whatever. To be honest with you, I don't fancy clicking on much. Um, end up breaking it. <laughs> um, I got a message here for Colin Linkster. Some commentator, Pat Nevin, will hang up his boots. Um, Ah, yeah, I've just, mate, it's quite hard actually doing it yourself, but I'm glad there's some people um, interacting, it makes it easier. Um, I said I would do it, so I wasn't going to pull it because nobody else was here. Um, Santa sent me a message, let's try to get up my phone. Um, Santa's bet Steed, Barry and Tierney. Barry at 5 to 6, I'd imagine that was for yesterday Santa. Um, so you've got two up, I'm assuming that's what that is and it's not the day. Um, so you're waiting in Tierney at 4 to 7. I just, I mean, I, I think even the first couple of frames you can see Tierney was a more settled, um, but I just thought 47 was a bit skinny for me, um, for George, not George, uh, being skinny, just the price, it was skinny, so I it's a no bet for me, I, I'd have a bet Jason at 5 to 4 for the value, but I uh, 47 winner is better than a 5 to 4 loser. What's the top tip? Um, oh. I had a look at the national. I've not looked at it. Um, I've not had a proper look. I've had a glance, and there's a couple that stand out to me that I've bet in the past. Um, I think I'm going to go with either. Um, I'll look at just now. I did have a look. I'm going to go with either Ashtown Lad, 
Uh, I'm sure it's a Skelton's horse. Um, it's quite consistent. But it will stay. Or I think for value, one more flurry. Decent bet. But I know the favourite's been gambled in for 16s. There was a lot of, I was at air yesterday and there was a lot of work for the favourite. Um, but I just don't like betting. I don't like betting when you've lost the price on it. It's like half the, half the price. Like it puts me off. So, um, I mean, they're saying that's a guaranteed place. But it's hard to see you've got a guaranteed place in Arsenal. I know it's a Scottish National. You've got Kitty's Light. That's the one that everybody was talking about. It's been 16s into 7s. Um, for me, I'm going to go with... Yep, Ash Town Lad. Or one more Fury. I'm I'll, play, I'll bet two. Um, that's the two I'll go for. So, let me know who you're picking. I'd imagine every single horse will get bet anyway. At some point, so... Aye, let us know. See, I fancy Jason these tactical battles. Um, again, more experience. Um, he's more of a kind of percentage player, if you like. George is more aggressive. Um, Jason's played in the IPA pro scene for a lot of years now. I mean, I remember. Yeah, I know 8-ball pool. Um, yesterday was... Don't get me wrong, they, they all weren't favourites um, like the night before and stuff like that. They all just went off at favourites. Um, I cut my mates one fortunes. It was a good day. I don't think MD lost. Um, but I, Jason, Jason should have the upper hand in these tactical battles. Although with George, George is going to have. He's always going to have that shot where he can have a bash the way the balls are. So yeah, Reds are definitely a favourite just now. But um, there's a couple of shots Jason can play. I think is he going? I don't think going games the right shot here. I mean, yeah, you're under it, but I think there's better times. I'd be trying to play a wee containing shot here. Oh, he's tried to get into that. Just, uh, I don't think that's the right shot for me. I think there's another couple of shots you could play there to just bide your time and wait. And I mean, he had to go. He had to do something eventually. But um, I don't think that was the right time to do it. There's, you can get yourself into better positions to kind of have a bash and give yourself a better chance of getting your ball out. So, I mean, he's got to try and cut this up the line here and take the bag. Um, it gets yourself another shot, hopefully, as long as you get the bag. Uh, it means George is going to struggle to go a game. Is that, that's actually, I mean, if he's played that, it's a good shot. If he's played to knock the black there, that's a good shot. I'd have cut the line up, up the line myself, but aye, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. It should get me another, another go at something. Um, Stormy Judge. For this okay, I'll repeat that noted there, mate. Um, Steed. Mate, <laughs> I've, been, I've been talking about this all morning. Um, like I said, I actually fancy um, your seller, Barry. I mean, I think... I think if you if you play your best, I think you win, Steed. I think because you've just you've deemed them done it. Um, you've played at the highest level. Scotland A team figure, or I don't even know, man, sixteen or something. Um, still get the IP and stuff. Don't know how sharp you are. Um, but Barry's been playing all the time, so I I'd hopefully. Um, I think you two, if he's won, you play. Wait a minute. Just looking at the draw just now. So Barry plays Daz and you play, yeah, you play Declan if he wins. And then you play Barry in the semis, I so, I mean, for me, I'm looking at that and saying the winner's going to come for there. Obviously, I'm slightly biased because I'm very patriotic and always want the Scottish boys to win. Um, but I like to stand by that. I don't mind. Jason's in, he's in bother here. Um... George can just start getting these balls into great positions. At some point, he can play a shot to just flick the black out, not putting a ball, maybe just coming off a red and just flicking that black over the middle. And then all you're doing is playing a plant in that red. But um, Jason's just going to try. I think he's just trying to keep his cell in it, get a ball out the middle of the table. A decent shot. You'd like to have that mere full ball there. Get it up the table. Um, but, I mean, George, I mean, he's probably tempted to go here, but he can't go here. 
you've got to look at a shot here to just get that black out. Don't pot a ball. Maybe just come off this thing, nudge your black up the table. Um, you don't have to go game here. I think you're crazy going game here. Um, you're no risk at all. You're losing the frame. Jason's the one that has to make something happen. But you're, 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 you're likely to try to play a shot here and get the black out. And that means the next shot or a couple of visits time you can go game. But you're crazy going game here. Uh, shot steed, uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's hard for me to pick winners because I don't know half of the players that are in it. Um, I'm just looking at kind of results and um, I've, I mean, I'm looking at this game here 10 4 it is over there. And every time I look over, it's just somebody finishing a frame. Um, that's just that's one of the worst shots I've ever seen. I know he's trying to get the black out there, but it's, you've just got to make sure that don't, don't be putting your hanger. Um, uh, that's a shocker. That's a shocker. I mean, especially when you can't lose the frame. These are the frames that if you do lose, it hurts. It hurts. It's like a double whammy. I mean, you would rather just get broken dust and lose a frame like this. When you're in so much control. But George has just been... Obviously, he's tried to get the black out there, but... If, I mean, at that level, you, you get two balls to hit you, you can't the black or the yellow's going to hit it out. So, that's a bad shot for me. Not unlucky. Um, it's not a shot. It's just a kind of. It's just a kind of containing shot. Um, Jason's going to be looking at not leaving an opportunity. Really, to be honest, you don't want to be hitting this blackout. That's just. Mm, that's not the right shot for me. Because even now, if you went game and you played a mad plant, at worst you can get a, a, a double in the black, and I haven't been touching that. Don't be wrong, it's not too easy for George. I mean, it's, he's not got a... He could play a double here, a double plant, but it's, you're, you're, you're risking a lot. But see, at some point, somebody's going to have to um, try something. I think Jason's quite just contempt to wait and see if George makes a mistake. One of the ones that... He might just decide, right, I'm not going to go here. I'm just going to wait until kind of George runs out of patience. He goes for a bash. I just, I just, I don't get that shot. I don't know why he's even flirting with that black. That is crazy. Crazy. I thought he just had to hold that out middle of the table, get a ball up there. Um, George might go game here. Risky, um, but at some point, I somebody's gonna have to do something. Oh, jeez, this is crazy stuff here. George is just, I, I mean, he's, he's, he actually went for like one to ten to win this frame. To oh, he's just like five to six a pair now. Uh, Jason style of play will frustrate the life of George Day. Robert, um, I agree. Um, I th that's a good shot, George, getting a ball down there. Um, I agree, Robert. I knew it wouldn't suit George. We can I guess he has more of a percentage player. He won't just go for daft things. But George is just playing a lot of guys that are just aggressive and stuff. Um, I don't feel as if Jason's going to get caught up in a lot of the, the pressure that a lot of guys have with George. He's not, I don't think Jason's seen on playing George Tierney. Um, so I, that's why I thought 5 to 4 was a decent price. Sean seemed to have the feelers approach like we did back in the day at that age. Aye, Steed, that just, somebody just showed, showed me who that boy was the other now. Um, a, a young boy. Um, pull, pull's great. So when you're young, you're just so fearless and... You don't even you, you you didn't even see problems when you were young. You just you just went down to his frame. And just you just saw finishes and just finished it. But um, that's but now you just you get older and you start like oh no I have any chance here. Um, I I can't report this. It's it's crazy. So I attitude's a big thing in pool. Positive attitude definitely goes a long way. Um, Chris, it was. I mean, seeing you're in these situations, Chris, and you just can't lose a frame. See, playing shots like that is schoolboy stuff. He's miscued. Jeez. 
So somebody was asking about tips earlier on. Um, I'll find out one that is and avoid that. Probably one of his own ones I think that he promotes. Um, I mean, it's surprising to see George miss Q because he, he does he does Q the ball really well. I mean, doesn't matter what people think about the guy. He, he's got a great Q action. He hits the ball sweet. Um, I feel that Jason can play a good snooker here. Um, he can get him welded right in there. Double R1 out. He's going to snooker on the top ball where the ball he's going to hit. Automatically snooker on the bottom too. They're just touching that. That's, yeah, I, I, I did that. I played the hard ball and he got a, a tighter snooker. But he's, I think he's still got it, but that's an easier hit. Um, but that's what I'm saying. The way this frame's turned is unbelievable. Good hit. That's what you can do. Is just get a, just get a hit. Keep yourself in it. Um, now, Jason just needs to keep him off the red next to the black. He cannot let him see that ball. So he sees that ball, he's got a shot to just kind of off the cushion, move the yellow out of the way, leave the white in there, and then it then goes back to a good chance of winning the frame. So keep him off that red is the most important thing here. He keeps flirting with these balls. I mean, it's a good shot, right? He's selling it, but I feel as if he keeps hitting balls that he don't have to hit, and it's risky. George might just smash this here. Um, play a double smash it, see if he lands on something to bash it all one out. Um, I mean... Uh, 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 why why screw it like that when you know the angle? George is not that bad. He knows, he knows the angles. When you're screwing that at half ball, the white's obviously going to go towards that back. Um, there's just been a, f a few schoolboy errors in this game for me. Um, and it's easy for you to say when you're commentating and you're watching and stuff like that, but it's not missing shots. Everybody misses balls, but it's the sometimes the short selection and execution that you can say that you didn't have to do that. I'd never slight any for missing a ball or anything, but the short selection and stuff, there's not many excuses for that. Um, you've been playing for a long time and you're at this level. Um, just played a good shot there, just opened everything up and this should just be joining the dots. Um, one in the cushion next. Um, play the plant, corner, corner, back in the same bag. Uh, Steed, I know, crazy, crazy. A couple of things he's done like that and it's like, this is what I'm saying. These are the kind of things that I don't see George doing when it's a big money game. It's, a, it's like a different player. Just looking a wee glance at our table here. Um, 11 4 Declan Duff. Those balls just getting doubled and everything. It's just, <laughs> I mean, the other game just looks such a better standard to, for me. It's just that every time I look around, somebody's taking away an 8 ball. Um, so, I mean, these finishes here, I mean, they just. I'm surprised it's not done yet, and I'm not the quickest, but he's actually making this. He's, he's hitting balls again, he's making it actually harder than what it should have been. He's going to have to play a positional shot at some point now when he shouldn't have to. Um, I don't even know if he can get up for the plan, or he have to play the corner one first. But again, it's short that he shouldn't really have to be playing when you look at the way the balls were set out there. Now, yes, I mean, this is. I'm going to, I mean, going on, it's going to sound harsh, but just based on what I've seen so far, I can't see any the winner coming for this game, just based on this. There's just there's been so much better standard elsewhere, so it's still time to turn it round, but based on what I've seen. Um, see, now he's got a personal shot to play. Um, I don't think he can screw straight back here. I don't know if he can play for another bag. If he can play for another bag, it's a right shot, because you're guaranteed a shot on it. Um, but I mean, this is actually difficult to play for in the same bag if he can't screw it straight back. So he might just have to play for another bag. But again, if you go the right way here, you wouldn't have to play a shot. It's it's problems you shouldn't have had, and that is a difference. Like I keep saying, the difference between top players and the good players is not like how be how much better they are at potting. It's just the patterns and how easier they make it for themselves. Wow, I mean, <laughs> that's a good shot. You're getting somebody a bash. They can end up bashing in Columbia the Black. 
a shot that she never got. I mean, I'm George and I'm delighted to get a bash at this. Um, but that shot would never have crossed my mind if I'm being totally honest. I mean, I'm not saying it's a wrong shot. It's, 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 it's probably end up in a better position. I just don't like giving guys a shot that they shouldn't have. Did he miss Kuhn again? Is somebody going to chalk his coup for him? Unbelievable. So it should just be just drop the plan in here, dead weight. Jason's I mean Jason's gonna go five three up here. And he's not it's, it's, it's not as if he's been outclassing George and um not giving George chances. I mean it could I think there's been one dish, I think there's been one dish, I think George dished. So pardon that, uh, every other frame could have went either way. So 5-3 Jason, um, the other match is 11-5. Um, so uh, you can see, that, I mean, that, tells a, that tells a story as well, I mean, how, just how they're playing. But I, I, I've, I've turned round, I don't even know who that is, I think it's Dave. Every time I turn around he's doubling balls and stuff. <laughs> so. Um, a really aggressive game over there. George playing with the second. Add Barry, I don't. F I mean, like I said, I struggle to kind of. I struggle to bet Tierney or um, think he's going to win tournaments wise. I just, I've never seen him do well in a tournament. I feel like he's a different player for money. B, man.
Right, guys. Um, sorry about that. Um, we can have you drink there. Didn't, didn't do well. <laughs> Back early as well. But um, I was catching up with some Macy's there. Uh, with a couple of people. Um, Stuart McCork and the big dog. A couple of guys giving me it tight. Um, I'm not claiming to be the best commentator. I was asked. Um, I wanted to do it. So I said, I wasn't going to play because nobody else is here. I think Boyle was coming in soon. It is harder doing it yourself. You can't even have a laugh when you're talking to yourself. But um, I mean, this game, it's, there's commentary on it. There's been a, a few shots where I've just disagreed with. I mean, again, I wouldn't slate enough missing a ball. Everybody misses balls. We all do it. It's sometimes a short selection for experienced players you just don't expect. And that's for me been a big um, thing in this game. Now, but I think Jason, Jason is a player who will always sell a shot. He, like, he won't give himself a, what, one of the shots in the previous games where George has played for a black in the middle where he shouldn't have. I don't think Jason would have done that. Jason's too experienced. He'd be like, I'm just going to get myself a shot on this. Um, so again, you're putting the ball here. The lights are actually coming down for the black in the corner. And it should be 6-3. I don't see any issues here. Yeah, it's just, aye. Not the easiest of blacks, but at this level, you can't be missing them. You can't be missing them. So, should be 6 3 here. Uh, the other game, I mean, that's 12 6. They're just parting through frames. Um, Jason slots it back home. I mean, he'll be feeling great because he's not played that well and he's 6 3 up, so he'll be buzzing with this. And see, the thing is, this happens when you see players that. Scrape through a game and then the next match they just turn it on. He had just having it through, so um he'll be he'll be over the moon with this. And Dazzler, I know one was at the racing yesterday. Um Oh mate, I was I I was tender this morning, but up oh, matter. at it. Um a wee, a wee gin and tonic for Brecky squares you up. <laughs> uh Ferrier, how you doing mate? Um what a guy. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, um, people. I see his thoughts on him. Draws to walk out for a match, finishes 1 7. Um, mate, see, to be honest with you, I, I, I disagree with that. I mean, see his thoughts on him. I don't think Jason's doing, I don't think he's playing any games that way or anything like that. I just think that George has not been good enough, to be honest. There's been too many bad shots for me at this level. The lights in again. I mean, that's at least the third time, at least the third time he's done that. And the fact that George only won three frames and he's done that three times at least says a lot. Um, David, it's uh, my name's David Rooney, um, Scotland. Just uh, I live about 25 minutes away from. McGoldrick's, um, I mean the place is absolutely minted, There's, I don't think, I've not been to a better pool hall than this, um, and I've been to a lot, it's it's class, and the fact that he just keeps on top of it, you get big chicken every morning, um, doing the tables, um, they're getting recovered regularly, um, Aye, Paul, he's going to keep on top of this. This will, this will be consistently the best. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I spoke to the, a couple of the English boys and stuff like that, and they said even in England, um, there's no like this. Chris Mellon, etc. Said I this is the best. I mean, it's got everything. It's got absolutely everything. There's over a hundred screens in the place. <laughs> um, nine ball, um, eight ball, snooker, darts arena, massive screens, um, poker, spacey, just everything. There's George just missed a block line, see the thing is too, the way these tables play, um, balls up the line are bread and butter, um, you can't really miss them, he's only get close. So, hi, George is not firing, and again, I said um, earlier on, when he played that, when he played for that black in the middle, for me that's a big sign, because when you're playing, when him, when you're, you're playing a hard position no shot to make an easier black, it tells me you're not 100% confident, you leaving yourself maybe a trickier one when you're guaranteed a shot on it. So there'll be signs that you can see in players and y you kind of learn through through time. Um, and Jason's just the type who just kind of, he'll just mop up. It's a tough finish here. Um, he'll be looking to, obviously, your last ball, the one closest to the black, but 
getting on it's a bit of an issue. Um, he could actually play for one down the line, screw back. He could, leave, he could leave a double in one and come over. And um, there's actually a shot for that. On the one on the left hand side, he could leave a double on that. Um, but with the angle he's got now, he's probably better punching it across for it um, in the corner, than just while he's got this angle. Um, and then you can screw it back, and you want to leave yourself as straight as possible on the one in the middle of the table to run through. Um, but it's tricky, it's not easy, it's not easy, he's, he's actually missed easier finishes in this, so it'll be interesting to see if he gets on here. Mm, I just don't like that shot, I just don't like that shot. He's going to have to play the double now, he's going to have to play the double now, um, he might be crashing into this red, he might come off with two cushions and nudge it. Um, I mean, if you do if you do play that shot and you nudge it, you'll, you will be on a ball. But again, you don't like to be nudging balls and you don't have to. So, yeah, just make sure the double here, you, you should be guaranteed a shot um, on one of these reds. You could actually nudge a red. But it looks like he's trying to check it across. I don't know if he's slide here. Yep, it's slid. So he's tried to check that across there. That was, that was never going to be on. It was always going to slide. Um, I thought he should have played it with the other side and spun round, so now you could actually play this off of yellow here. Um, you could actually play this off of yellow just now. Um, I think that's a shot. I would play this off of yellow just now, um, into the corner. I don't think it doesn't go straight in. Pretty sure it doesn't, so I'd be playing this off of yellow just now. Um, and at worst, I mean, you're looking to get the bag. I don't see any value in taking the ball in the middle. Unless that goes long. Unless it goes long, then you can maybe just pump that in the corner and screw back. But um, for me, I put it off the put it off the yellow if that doesn't go. Unlucky. Unlucky. Um when you're playing it off the yellow and you're hitting it harder. You need to actually hit the yellow thinner because it it, it bounces off wider. So the weak shots you kinda you have to you have to make some adjustments and that's what's happened there. It's come off a wee bit thicker and he's hit the near jaw first. David, um the guy who played in the break dash job. Ah, he made a couple of goes at that. Um a good laugh. No very good at it, but I had a couple of goes at that during lockdown. Um one money. I basically, I was winning money at poker at night and then losing it. Um, try to bought try to bought three balls in a row at pool the next day. <laughs> um, gorgeous George getting rode. Um, but he's not been at he's not been at the the races, shall we say? Um, so far, still plenty of time. Plenty of time. I mean, not even halfway through the match yet. Um, and. I mean, the the way the game is, I mean, he's getting close to his work again, wow. The way the game is, I mean, anybody could just, if they start playing well, they'll win. Nobody's blown anybody away, there's not there's not been many uh, one-visit one finishes. So, uh, the, the door's open for somebody to step up. The bug, I don't know who the, the, the nickname is, I imagine we know each other. Um, aye, um, doing alright mate, um, just getting on with it, um, I, the eyes, that's not, I'm not in much pain anymore, on all sorts of medication, um, daily, I've only been on that for probably a year, um, I can't see out the eye yet, just using my left eye for vision, but um, it's, aye, the, the doctor's happy with how it's going, so I'm just kind of trusting the process and just getting on with things, um, keeping the eye protected, got a pair of glasses and that now, um, a couple of wee things you can't do, but just daft things like just sleeping. You can't even sleep is terrible with the steroids and stuff, and you have to sleep with a, a shield on and can't shiver probably. You can't get water in and close to it. Oh my God, Jason just. Oh, he's. This is what happens. You're winning. Sorry, uh, Jason just came off the cushion and flipped that ball. Uh, I just wee things, but I doing all right. Thanks very much. Um, 
Jason's come off. This is what happens. Remember earlier on, he was trying these shots and they didn't help when you were getting beat 3 1. And see, when you're winning, this is what happens. George plays a snooker, he had an absolute tap in. An absolute tap in. And he's having to play a snooker because he's out of position again. And now Jason's off the, off the cushion and pots it, and he's now uh, 7 3 down. Massive frame. Um, and Jason will be absolutely buzzing because he's not even played that great. Um, Stephen sister, you okay, the bug. All oh, right, uh, all oh, right, Stephen. Oh, how you doing, mate? I, I don't know the nicknames. How am I supposed to know? Um, Brendan, uh, my name's David Rooney. Um, ah, uh, thanks very much, Stephen. Yeah, I doing well. I getting on, mate. I everyone's good. Everyone's good. I've I've had a lot of support. It's been good. Um, yeah, you're right, Scott. Hundred percent agree with you. Um, I've said it in the past. I said it a few times ago. That's what happens. Um, you've got absolute tap in. You're giving a guy a shot that he shouldn't have got. So he's got a free to get that there, Jason, and he's got it. And that is what happens, especially, especially when you're losing, that it seems to happen more often. So, yep, um, for me, he deserves all he gets there, because he did have a tap in. Um, I feel bad to keep talking my people keep asking, feels I, f I don't know who's all listening, I get a transplant in my eye, mate, long story. Um, it's not just even when he's won nine ball event, and suddenly he's a player. Um, Nine ball event, well done mate if you want a nine ball event. I mean they can't be easy to win, especially the amount of players that are playing these days in nine ball in Scotland. Barry, it is a kick in the stones, right? But like I said, he shouldn't have got the chance to do it. He had a tap in. He had an absolute tap in. So again, you're giving guys these chances to come out the cushion and pot it. They're like, oh, I've got a free go here. I remember that Gibbsy was the one that told me that years and years ago. Years and years ago, um, after a match, when I played him when I was only a boy, and he explained the rest to me, and I've never forgot things like that. And that's how you learn off of all these, all these top players, and I was lucky growing up to learn all these guys, and taking all the advice on board, and they're, they're kind of things that I just don't do anymore. Give guys these free shots when you've got finishes, and then they feel, people probably feel as if they're, in, they're hard done by. I mean, George might be thinking, oh, he's fucked that ball there. Like, George, he shouldn't have got a chance to do it, so shut up. Um, a wee mistake over another match here, just uh, I've, I've turned down. Um, that deck on Duff seems to be flying. Uh, Alright Santa, how you doing mate? Um, aye, doing good mate, I hope you're doing well as well. Mate, I know, it's, I know you're always under a lot of stress, whatever that's going on, bloody sick of seeing the people messing you about that pub, but uh, I hope you're doing well mate. It's hard at the top, don't have a queue, can't break a jump, can still tap you in that. Uh, you, you two are going to get a room. Jason's from where? Don't agree, Steve. How about what Steve say? Right. Thought he's best George Thunder this round. Uh, um, see, to be honest with you, Steve, I don't. I, I mean, the way it's going, I mean, you can't really you can't see it. He's had chances galore, and he's 7 3 down. I mean, Jason's about an half in the break there, in that frame. Do you know what I mean? So, George is in first. He's in first with the pick of the balls with two visits. He's not won the frame at this late week. I'd be doing that. That's gifts. Uh, what have we got here? 296 people watching this game Saturday. I've only I've given out my coupon by the way, everybody. Whoever's back to know if somebody was asking they were on. Going for two in a row, fourfold. Um there was a few people watching me. Right, big dog, I know you're there. I know you're there, mate, just seen some messages. It's hard to I mean I can't even see as it is, I'm trying to look at about five different screens. Um, in general, he's a better player. Yeah. I I don't disagree. Um, that um, overall George is a better player. He's definitely a better cueist as well. I mean, I think he hits the ball great. But Jason's got a lot of experience, and um, he's been playing the game for a long time. He's been playing at a high level for a long time. He plays an IP pro circuit. Um, I remember playing him. That must have been, I don't know, six, seven years ago or something. Um, and he's just one of the kind of solid players. He's not going to, like, you'll get your chances, he's not going to blow you away or anything like that. But, like I said, if George, if George doesn't play well, he'll, Jason will just punish him and just he'll just mop up. And he's had his chance. George, George could easily have been a, ahead in this match with a good distance, and he's not. He's had the chances. So, I, I do think there's a difference with George when it's money matches and <laughs> tournaments. I just don't, I never really fancy him in tournaments to do anything. It's a good break though. 
Um, a big chance. Um, I mean, when both colours, you can take your pick here. Just going with the actual first pot, I'd probably take reds. Um, that's what I know yellows look easier, but for an opener, I can't imagine moving about the right. I don't know how much I can hold this here. Oh my god. Aye, I mean, I think yellows, aye, they did. They, they were the more attractive ball there, but um, for me, I thought it guaranteed um, a good pot in the red there in position. So, aye, George is just, he's not at it now. Um, he's going to. Airdrie, Alba, Oaken Lake. Aye, I fancy Airdrie today. Big time. What I mean, it's going to games all the time. I've been flying. Unlucky last week. Um, aye, Airdrie should win today. Liverpool 1 0 up. Um, Yota. George, I don't think, think he was on that ball there. Um, but he's got the bag and he's still in the frame. Alright, mate. Hold on a wee second. I saw you just catching up with um, one of the Irish boys there. Um, oh, I'll put an R coupon on later. Uh, Rooney, don't give your coupons out, champ, you're rotten. Mate, I got one up last week. Me and Billy Sterling are belter in here. Um, so we're going for two in a row. Um, Scott. Ah, uh, mate, I can't play pool anymore. I've not been. I couldn't play pool for years. Um, maybe in the future I'll come back. But nah, Scott. I mean, I'd love to play in something like this. Um, if I was playing and I was able to give it my best, um, I'd fancy it, but no, no chance. Um, worst first choice of shot there by George. Aye, Robert, I agree, mate. He's just... Some of the short selection has been terrible this full match. I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds brutal. And I know people say, oh, it's easy for you to say you're commentating. You don't know how hard it is. I've been there and done it. I know I've made mistakes in these things. And I know your mind gets messed up, but... Um, for playing as often as he has and some of his short selection, short choice has been terrible for me. Um, and Jason's not done anything special. He's just been mop, 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 mop. Oh, Santa. Uh, mate, you, it'll probably bounce. <laughs> the amount you probably won. Um, we were at the racing yesterday, Kenny off. Oh, I won a fortune, it was crazy. Everyone just kept winning. Um, it was good. So just looking at this hard game, um, I know Declan had a chance here. Dave, I think he'd go 16-7, I think, with the looks of it. But 
Um, I just spoke to one of the ice boys, he just popped into the booth and he said Declan's just absolutely buzzing. Um, he just can't see past him, he's lumped on him, I think he's got about 600 on him. I don't know what price he was, I think fives or something like that, pre-flop. Um, he's hammered him. Um, so, I mean, that's, that says a lot, I don't know the guy, so that, that says a lot to me, how good he is. Um, Barry, I think there's been one, mate, it was early doors. Um, I'm sure there was one, I think Jaws did one, but I, other than that, it, it, every frame could be sort of went either way. <laughs> Alright mate. Easy, Thanks very much mate. Hi, sorry about that. People just popped me into the booth there. Um, I'm just trying to catch up with comments and messages. Um, thanks very much, um, John. Um, it's, it's quite hard doing it yourself, but I, uh, you just want to have a laugh or something. A couple of guys I think are maybe want to come in soon to join us, but um, it's good. It's, a, it's good to get involved because um, you don't miss the pool scene when you know you can't compete anymore. So it's good to have this, have this involvement in it this weekend. Um, and it's a good day out, a lot of good guys in the day. Um, so i really looking forward to the day's pool and hopefully it gets a bit better than this, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I know I'm being, I'm sounding ruthless and brutal, but it's it's not been brilliant. But at the end of the day, Jason's going to be delighted regardless, because if he wins, he doesn't care how, how well he's played or how it looks, which is fair play to him. Um, ah, Simon, I know sometimes... Um, I think people don't like it. They can't understand the Scottish sometimes, so it's not as popular. Um, so I'm just looking some messages. Uh, Santa, I that comes a that's a belter. Right, fair play. I don't like. I don't know about your cooking now, though. To be honest, mate, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I stuck to the stuck to the Scottish boys just only. Um, I've actually had a bet. Um, I've bet Declan. I've bet Jason, and I've bet um, Barry in his next match for a treble. So uh, it's looking good so far. Just for a bit of interest while you're here. Um, but Jason here, I mean. Should this should there you go one B and D Jason that's it um, Jason should be looking to just you're just you're just drawing your dots here it's, you're actually not having to do much with the right the one next to the the one closest oh, I don't know this is not the ball for me this is just not the ball for me I'm dropping the one in the middle here. Just hitting things, you're not 100% where the weight's going. I mean, he still should finish it, but for me, I'd drop the one in the middle there and then everyone else is just rolling. Um, yep, yeah, so it should just be screw back up when she's. Um, you'd want to, you'd really want to get rid of that one in the middle of the table as soon as possible because you can up and down, causes problems. Um, screw back up when she's for the one near the black next. Um, he's probably want to be playing for the one in the middle second last. So if he can screw, I don't know if he can screw to basically where the middle bag is and leave his cell just a straight pot in the middle and then his one closest to the bottom left pocket is his last ball for the black in the middle is probably the way he's looking to go. But you're not going to be over screwing this and off and it's just harder the way he's went here again, making it tricky for himself the way, the, the way he's choosing his patterns. 
Listen, it's easy saying it. You're sitting here, I know that, but you can only call it how you see it. Um, see now he's, I mean, it's natural to come round. You probably need to check it a wee bit because your cushions are sliding. Um, but again, it's these kind of shots you shouldn't really have to be playing. If you go, in my opinion, what the right way, they didn't have had to do this. It would just have been all kind of joining the dots. Instead, he's kind of up and down. He's playing shots by side. It makes it hard. Yeah, he's all right. Um, I don't think he can hold. I mean, he's probably just got a wee. Um, maybe he can either stun it straight off the bottom cushion or play it off it too. Um, I don't think he can just drop it in and hold, and it doesn't go in the opposite middle. So again, I he's got a personal shot to play now, um, which you shouldn't really have had to do. You shouldn't have been leaving yourself shots like this, and you don't see that with the elite players. They don't have to play these shots. Um, so, um, I, I mean, I like to just play this with a wee screw off the bottom there, but aside, he's trying to screw into red, you know, that's fair play, he's landed well, I didn't really look at that shot, I'd have, I'd have liked to play the, the kind of stun shot off the bottom, and you've got loads of space to land in, and you've got all that side of the table there, you've got a few feet, um, but aye, he's got the job done, he's 8-4, um, and the way he's going, I mean, you can't see him really losing because George is just not putting him under any pressure at all. 8 4, the other game is just about finished. Um, I don't know, I think the next games are due on at 3. Um, this game, the way it's going, could struggle. We finished in time for the next one, but we'll, we'll see. So Declan Duff threw a um, very quick game, um, that was less than two hours there um, for our first 18, which is quite quick, especially with the, how big a tournament it is. Um, he feels as if um, can I these take, you take more time or short stuff like that, but Declan looked really comfortable. For what I saw, he looked really comfortable in amongst the balls. Um, showed a lot of maturity and experience so uh, he's going to take some beating he's going to take some beating this weekend that'll be interesting um, and it's quite interesting to see people's bets as well and who people fancy and uh, I think sometimes people bet with their kind of their heart and um, kind of loyalty but a deck on Duff there for me is uh, it's what I saw is definitely the best I've seen. I've not, I've not watched. Like I say, I've not watched a lot, but compared to this match, I, um, I don't. I've only seen having a problem with, with any of these two. Um, and he plays Steed tonight. That will be a cracking game. That will be a cracking game. I can see there'll be a lot of money on that. 
again, I, Jason always seems to leave these kind of, he leaves one ball in the middle and has to come back up for it and stuff like that. I, I don't know why he doesn't get rid of these balls first. Anyway, he's just special. So I'm not saying he's not going to finish it and it's like mega hard, but I just always look at ways to make things easy for myself. Um, right, one o'clock. We've got, we'll only get one cut him on. MD, any tips they can send them in? Uh, because, like Santa said, I'm generally hopeless. So it'd be good to have a wee free day. <laughs> the best. Although I can't see that happening because York had just walked in. And I think he's having a drink, so it's never going to be free if he's about. Uh, the streams from the gold rates are. Ah, John, it's brilliant. And it's Craig um, that does it in the Scottish Q Sports streaming. Um, I mean, his equipment and stuff like that, it's, it's top drawer. Unbelievable stuff. It's so professional. Um, I probably I could add, I'll take a picture of this booth actually and show you that it's it's unbelievable. It's not you're not just sitting behind the table and whispering, but it's it's the setup's class, absolute class. Yeah, but you're right. White ball's always going to be a bit too much traveling for me as well. Um, I mean, actually, he should never have he should never have um, been leaving that shot. But it's just, he should actually still be putting it right, but he should never be in that position. He can go here, I went 9-4 up there. George is under all sorts. Um, he's probably sitting there himself off this year not tapping. And he's went the wrong way, and that's what's cost him. Not the missed pot, I mean, that's a hard pot. We all missed him, right? I'm not having a go at missing that pot. But it's the fact you leave yourself that pot when you shouldn't be. That should have been a roll in the middle. Earlier, uh, what, three shots ago? Um, so, aye, patterns is the most important thing for me. Not the potting, it's going the right way. Make it easy for yourself. We can take a shot there. I don't think I, I'm not sure it's a snooker. Can he pot it anyway? Um, George is he's went favourite for this frame. I don't know what Jason's maybe looking at. Maybe he can actually come off with two cushions if he wants, because there's no point. I don't really see much point in just touching this ball. Um, so you're you're to look at a way to try and pot in this, so he can come off with two. Um, I'd come off bottom cushion side cushion and you're just basically try to cut it. I don't know I don't know if you can swerve it and thing me around. I don't know if that actually goes. I think he's trying to swerve it and hit it off the cushion then into the red. I don't know if that's on. Mm, I don't know if it was on, I mean it's a hard to see for here but they can see. Um but I was well having a bash at it anyway, there's no point in just touching it. Uh, It's a, it's, a, it's a brave shout, Mark. Um, I mean, I'm not saying he can't win or they won't win, but just going for um, performance so far and kind of the way the games went, it's, been, it's just not been great. But he's left a gap again. I just, there's been so many shots. I mean, that's a wee bit unlucky, right? Don't get me wrong. Um, but I feel as if he could have maybe played another shot before playing the, the snooker there to make it a guaranteed snooker. Um, you'd probably get good odds mark off someday um, now, I mean if it was me, if I was a bookie I'd be given probably uh, eight, four, at least twos anyway because he was favourite, it was 47 pre-flop you've got to remember and there's only four frames in it so probably twos aye uh, Jason just cut this in um, and he's oh, he's, he's got a shot He's got a shot. Um, he, I mean, he'll be delighted to get another shot there because, again, that's another time that George has played a shot. He shouldn't have had one. and It's probably the first I've actually seen George losing so many frames playing safeties, which is quite ironic. Something I thought I wouldn't say. I don't know if that's black. I, I mean, I thought initially it went. It might just creep in. It's still a tough shot. But again, they're a lot easier when you're 8-4 up. Oh, that was 
Yep, it's in. Is it the white safe? It's in. It's nine four. Um, Lorraine, I know. Don't don't hate me, Lorraine. Listen, I'm not slating him. I'm not saying he can't have in. I'm just saying I'm just I'm just commentating what I've seen so far. Um, and based on that, it's going to be tough because they kind of at the start George was getting the wee rubs and Jason wasn't, and it's amazing how it just turns like that. And now. George is on that back foot and he's probably feeling to himself that nothing's going right for him. Jason's getting all the rubs. And it, see, when you're, see when you're behind, that is it's a natural feeling. But he's played some bad shots. It's bad select, bad shot choice. And he's only got yourself to blame, in my opinion. I keep that in my way, I'm, I'm taking, um, I need to put all these drops and stuff like that, so I'm just wanting to set the mic down and turn it off when I'm doing it. Um, which book he's taking, but if you go to Facebook, mate, you'll go into, um, if you go into Paul Gorgon's page, you'll see odds, there's a lot of guys sharing it, and just give him a message, um, and he'll take your bet, no bother. Um, you can sort out afterwards, he'll, 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 he'll sort it out, no worries. Um, David Brighton, that's which high fights, hard score two goals, 50 pace, 55. I made that fair shout actually, I just don't know about. I mean, I Martin, I hope it comes in for you, mate. I, I don't think I'll be getting involved in that bit. But, um, I mean, I don't like, I don't know anything about Halifax, so I like betting teams that I know. George here, I mean, all the yellows go. In his mind, he's probably just thinking about his worst ball as a black. Um, he's probably... It's one of these ones, see if you land on a ball, right, and you've got a shot to maybe nudge it, right, and it's like a free shot, you'll do it. But don't put yourself under pressure to nudge it if it's risky to not land on another ball. Um, I mean, he could he could play it here. He could, if you have the angle here, he could nudge it. But then you might put it over the middle and the or doesn't go. For me, I would just play for the ball in the middle. Um, then the other one and just roll the black down the line. The bags are, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying they're buckets, but if you play it properly, it'll go. So don't move in here, just be confident. Put the white middle of the table, roll, roll, roll. Good shot, I'm sure you just stun this in, roll in, and then it's a black down the line. And you shouldn't be missing the black down the line. Again, they are harder when you're, you're losing and things are being against you, but. Um, I find something to port it. If you get it, if you get it close, it'll go in. I think he hits the ball so good, George. Um, really good. Right through by that red. Yep, he's fine. He didn't want to be awkward there, but I. No, Steed, I know I wouldn't have nudged it either sometimes, but if you land on a ball and you're like, oh, I can nudge this and you're guaranteed in a ball, aye, it's fine, but you don't want to be nudging it if you're not guaranteed in a ball. Why is he smashing that in? Oh my goodness me. Oh, I mean, that's a... I know, I mean, I personally like to hit them, but when you're in a black, you like to kind of punch them in. But you've got to use your knowledge of the table here, and you, you need to give it a chance. And that wasn't a close, he's battered in it a knuckle. It wasn't in. He's battered in it a knuckle. It's not gonna go. It shouldn't have went. It didn't go. And Jason's just get he's get one pot here, basically. He's got one pot here for the frame. Oh you cross but he's he's best under pressure when his when his team's ahead. Oh well he's 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 under it now, Lorraine. Um because he's about to go ten four down. And it's not a double elimination. And there's no, it's no, it's no kid on money. So, ah, uh, Steve Dyke, yeah, I don't know why he's battered that. Again, I think that's the score line and stuff like that has an impact and you're trying to smash that in. I mean, you're just, you're just, you're, you don't have to roll it dead weight, but you just give it a chance. 
JC just going pop, he's in the middle, hanging back 10 4. Um, the one of this game plays Brian Cumming. Um I know, I don't think Brian's played Jason before. I know him and George have got previous. I don't even know how the matches went. I don't know if I think they both of them maybe 1-1 each or something. Um, so that would be an interesting game. I mean, for what I heard yesterday, Brian would beat. I'll <laughs> <laughs> speak. Um, uh, Kenny Dold um, is in the building, just nipped into the booth there. He's a wee bit tender for yesterday as well. I don't actually know if he's in a drink today or not. I think so. Um, right, I'm looking at the 2 o'clock at Leopardstown, if anybody's got any in the know. Uh, I need to get some on. Right, a uh, bit of frustration. Aye, right. Scott, um, again, scoreline. Stuff like that. they they have an impact, they have an impact on the way he's played that shot because usually you mean you're just you're just giving that a chance. Doesn't mean you don't have to roll it dead weight and say oh if I miss this it might still drop in, but you're not going to be hundred percent accurate all the time. So if you give it a chance at a decent pace, it's if you if you do if you do miss it or you don't hit it exactly where you wanted it, it still can go in, but it's not going to go in at that pace. Not bad, isn't it? Um, Mate, I d was that s sissing you? I don't know. I uh, don't know why, mate. He, he was nowhere near it, that's why it didn't go in. He was absolutely nowhere near it and he smashed it off the knuckle. Um, I, James Ross, it is. It's myself. Um, I, Kenny just popped in there. He's, he said he couldn't sleep last night because he'd um, end up not taking his trousers off and all his money in his back pocket. So he's a, a sore bum. Aye, any question, tips of the day or anything like that, just let us know. It's tough doing this yourself, so any interaction is appreciated. I'm looking at this 2 o'clock. Favourite, oh,
Hi, guys, sorry. Um, Kenny just following me in there. Um, with what's happening out in the arena. There's a few, I think there's a couple of money matches starting. Um, not for lots, just a few local guys and stuff like that, a couple of quid. Um, so used to watch. I, I mean, you do notice that, and the bags do seem more generous on the TV. And when you actually go to the tournaments, I remember when you went to the IPA, and I could play in the telly table, and then you go and play one of the other tables. It is, it is totally different, and it's weird how they don't just. They're not all the same, um, but they are. It is different. The telly tables usually do play a bit more generous and a bit easier. Um, whether it's uh, deliberate or not, I don't know. Um, but I, they do. They are a lot more generous. Thanks very much, James. Since deleting Facebook three years ago, I don't know if that's deleting me or deleting Facebook, mate. Um, I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, David, off. Hello, Dad. Hi, all good. Enjoy your weekend away. Um, I hope you're having a good one. Love yous. So I uh, Jason here. Um should be uh, it should be eleven four. I mean I don't see any problems here. Yep, just a wee punch up the table, eleven four and I I mean I I can't see any way back for George now because he's not even shown he's not even he's not even shown that he's capable of anything decent now. It's not as if he's been like playing well and just gonna be a bit unlucky or he's just he's not played that great. So the way it's going, nah, it's, it, it should just be um, Jason to win here. I can't see George blowing my way for here. All right, James. <laughs> Good man. Um, I'm missing so many messages. Sorry, I'm trying to... I'm reading so many different screens. Um, I think Mark Boyle's coming at some point. Um, I don't know if I, I they, they want me to do the next game as well I don't know um, it's if, I, if I really want to commit to another three hours we'll see um, but the setup's was class I mean I've got the, the pool here on the screen I've got the Liverpool game above it um, it's so it's so professional in here and Paul just, I mean, he just made the other white in again. The white's in again. <laughs> right, and he's done this so many times. Uh, okay, where is he? He's frozen on my screen. Aye, Jason's done this so many I think this is, this is at least the fourth, right? At least the fourth time that Jason's put the white off the break. Um. Uh, I don't know, I think maybe George capitalised once, which for me is not enough. I mean, you, you, you should automatically be going odds on when you've got two shots after the break. Choice of balls, a free shot, I mean, there's no excuses really. Um, I mean, I think he's, he's, got, he's going to take reds here, but there's a shot to play at some point with that red in the middle. I know it goes, right, the one to the right of the black but if you're leaving that to last which to me seems the only kind of way when you leave the one at the, the bottom left to second last you're going to have to play a positional shot on the black either c coming off the cushion playing the black in the middle I'm not saying it's hard but um, that's probably the only that's the only kind of obstacle he's got I'm not saying it's hard oh he's just, just trying to check <sighs> they need to remember that um the, the cushions are still sliding. They're going to slide. It's been re-clothed. Um, the top, they should know that. So when you're playing these kind of check shots off one cushion, they're going to still slide. They're not going to check straight off. So he's now going to have to drop this in. He's getting to traffic. He's going to have a pot to play. Um, he's making things so hard for himself. 2pm, Leopard's down. Then again, he's tried to play a shot with check. He's actually landed good. He's actually landed good. Um, he can now just run this in and then play for the one up the top and just leave the one down the bottom here he left his last ball so it's actually worked out not too bad um, it's actually worked out not too bad he's just kind of rolling balls in 
he'll have a couple of stun shots. Or he's oh, he, oh, a good shot, George. Um, and then he's going to just screw the last one in six inches for a straight black. So it's worked out not too bad. Um, and he needs this one. He really needs this one. Um, you need to start. It's not. It's not even just about winning the frames. It's about punishing. You need to punish. Take away the eight ball or take away the first visit. Show them that you're actually playing well. So they're like, right, I need to, I need to still play a little win here. It's not going to be straightforward. Um, 2 p.m. race. Short George. I saw 11.5. Um, good finish. For George, cut a good shot there. One in the middle was good, but a wee bit of, wee bit of hair behind, as they say. Um, 2 p.m. race, right, let us down Janet. Janet, what price is it? 94, second favourite. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll go we'll go we'll go with it. Uh, Johnny Cash buddy. I know mate, mate, listen, the, the the screens are very close. I can see. I can see. I can see. Plus I, I, I um ironically I still know the shots better than a lot of them anyway, for what I've seen so far in this game. I don't be wrong, another one Declan, he just went flying. One, but this game there's been a couple of weird ones for this for this standard. Um, but like I said, Jason will be delighted to be winning eleven five for the way that he's been playing. He's not been he's not playing away, George. He's he's just been kind of mopping up his mistakes. Um, what have we got here? Three eighty three. Like I said, I never knew three hundred eighty three people watched pool so much. But I do feel as if it's George. I know everybody watches George, and he is. He is the he is the he is the the crowd man. I feel like he will bring in the crowd more than more than most, even the top players. Because I mean, George isn't he? In my opinion, one of the elite, but he's still a cracking player, and he's probably one of the most popular. And everybody watches him. Whether people want to watch him to get beat or win. It doesn't matter, and that's why he's created this image for himself. The guy is definitely, I mean, the guy's no daft. He knows what he's doing. He's, very, he's actually a very intelligent person. Um, so, I mean, Jason's overcooked that again. He'd like to have just been uh, dropping that one in the middle next and getting rid of the couple of awkward ones. So now, he might, he might go up the stairs first and leave these two down here at last. Which I think is probably the best way to do it, and just leave the one in the middle to the last ball when you drop the one down the cushion. Um, that makes sense to me, because you're just you're not having to do much of the right. You want to make it easy as possible for yourself, so just drop them hangs in. Yeah, it seemed a bit heavy again there, but I, you're just rolling these balls in. You're basically want to land as straight as you possibly can on each of these balls. Um, it's it's basically impossible to land straight in the one down the line. But you're kind of half ball, you're knocking it in, the weight's coming out naturally for the ball in the middle for your last ball. Um, so it's. You've got to fancy him here, especially these kind of tournaments, you've got to fancy them here. I don't know what angle he's got here. I think he can still land straight in the one in the middle. You just want to land straight in the next one. Run it through. It doesn't even really matter if you're on the cushion or not. Aye, that's fine. So it just drops. You can actually leave yourself the option here. Seeing you land straight in the next one, or just off straight. You can play the white in a way, and you want to land the white. With the last two balls, you want to land the white as close to that red in the cushion as you can. With the option, you've been on both. That's ideally where you want to be. So, you're just off straight in the next one. I don't know if he's went through far enough there for me. Um, now he's probably going to have no option but to play the middle one next. Uh, which is fine. Then the one down the line's your last one. I'd like to have left the white a wee bit further to the right there. And you're coming over and having that option. Again, just make it easy for yourself. And sometimes that's to do with just walking on the table maybe once more and that's a good shot. He's actually straighter on that than I thought. So it's just a wee he needs to actually screw this back now. Cause he'd probably have actually rather not have went through as far. So he's using the cushion. So you just want to screw back, just by the red. Um but sometimes you can decel on these. Um don't get me wrong. When you're having five down, this is a lot harder. 
So, um, 11-5 up. I, I've got, I still fancy him here. Just screw this back. Is it, can he screw it back? I can't, I can't see the angle. Pro I think he's straight. So, if he's straight, he has to screw it back. Is he playing with the tops? He must have an angle to come off the cushion here, which is probably better for him. He's missed the pot. He's missed the pot. Um, you see, that's why I'd have liked to have played for the one down the line first. Um, because it means all you're having to do with the one in the middle is drop him in for the black in the corner automatically. Um, and you can't bounce out. You're not having to hit it hard or stuff like that. So these are the wee things that... Um, that mistakes happen with because you're not going the right way, in my opinion. Um, so... George has now got a chance to go 11-6, and this game is not over. This game is not over because George is capable of just producing some good stuff, and um, it's not as if Jason's taking away finish after finish, so um, there's no reason why George can't get back into this if he just screws it up. So he's played, um, again, I, yeah, there's a few awkward balls there, right, and especially when you're losing, you're not, you're not confident to take away big finishes all the time and um, balls down the cushion and kicking balls out. So putting a safety, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. Um, I know you're giving him a shot and he still can, he still can look at percentages. When you look at percentages, um, it probably is a right shot. Make going off here, off of the right, no, he's not even hit it. So two digs for George. Um, Sometimes people like to kill the yellow and just do this, but for me, George just be bringing these reds out and just finishing it. Um, he might play the plant down. For me, I, I, I'd actually maybe play the carom, come off the side of the red and kick the other one down um, with the white, but people have their own prefaces for that shot. You just don't want to see it that. That's just too hard for me. You don't know where they're going to end up. They're not bad, but they've landed all right, but they could have went anywhere playing it like that. Uh, but I don't see any issues. He'll play for the one in the cushion next. Um, middle, corner, and then down the stairs for the last two. Shouldn't be any problems, but the way the match has been, you never know. Shouldn't have tried to shift it right there. Good commentary. Ah, cheers, Gary. Um, shouldn't have to. Nah, I know. I know already. George is just basically just George is what to screw back to where the white is now, really. And Evans just Evans is just kind of natural angles. Mm, I just that's just the wrong shot for me. Just don't know why you wouldn't get rid of that other ball first and screw the white back to where it is. If you screw that white back to where it is, this is your last ball now. But instead, now he's get he needs to go back up for it. Just doesn't make sense to me, but um, I'm not saying he's not going to finish it. Which means I mean, you're having to go back up. This should be his black. That should be him on the black now. But instead, he's having to play this red to screw back down the table. That's just crazy. Um, but it's how you see it. Fair enough. But you just need to make it easy for yourself, and that isn't making it easy for yourself. Now he's got this tester. I'm not saying he's not going to pot it. But you look at where the white was, and that would have been your last ball. Now he's got this, and that is a difference. I'm not saying he's not going to pot it, but make it easy for yourself. Shot, George. There the white. The white's flopping. There the white and half. There you go. There you go. That's what happens. You don't go the right way. Unbelievable. That is un. I mean, I don't even. There's, there's no sympathy for me for that at all. That's just so bad. And see the thing is as well. He should actually know that white's flopping with that bag when he's left that black. So you need to put a bit of side on that. That's so bad. Good pot in the black. I didn't fans want to miss it, but he just went the wrong way. Why, why is he leaving that ball back up there? Why you want to go up down the table? Twice. He's, he was straight on it. He could have screwed back to exactly where the white was and left the two balls there. And just no excuses for that. That's terrible. No, Scott, I don't even know. I heard, I seen something on Facebook, they're playing money, I don't even know who they're playing or anything like that. No. Um, but I tell you what, Jason must be absolutely loving life now, because 
at the start of the match. I mean, he two 0 down, he would beat. And he's now twelve five up, and he's not even. He's not even out of second gear. So, aye, I'd like to see. Um, I'd like to see what George says at this match after this because I would. I'll happily. I wish I took notes of each frame, and I would happily note them off to tell me he did wrong if he even says he was unlucky because he's not been. Um, Ah, uh, David, I that would that would be funny. Do we feel I could be doing me a laugh? So hopefully he does listen to it then. Um, but I, like I say, George is not daft. Um, if he's be if he's going to be honest about it, he'll say that he's been terrible. And it's not as if he's been he's been missing like horrific balls. And I think he's yeah, I think he hit the guy. I think he hits the ball great. He's got a great cool action, um, a fans may put pressure balls, but his shot selection and stuff like that has been terrible, and his patterns have been terrible. So, and that's how you make mistakes, that is how. There's no way the likes of Gubsy, Boyle, Brennan, Dunster would have went with the three balls left, would have, would have left that ball at the top there, when they were on it, absolutely no way. And that's where the finish went wrong, that's how. That's the only way it could go wrong. Um, Thanks, Tim. Aye, that's me, mate. I'd say how it is. If I'm not saying I'm always right, but I'm just saying how I see it. Um, might be brutal sometimes. And I know it's easy to say it when you're here, but I'm, I'm, I'm a biggest critic as well when I used to play pool, and I would never say um, I was unlucky or this and that when things went wrong. I would, I would look at it logically and say, we shouldn't have got that chance to bash it in or whatever. I missed that ball. I played the wrong shot. And that's the only way you're going to get better. See if you're in absolute denial about matches. You're not going to get better. You're not going to get better. Um, unless you're honest about it. If you just come off matches, oh, I was unlucky there. Uh, he fucked the ball. But you're not going to get better. Just an absolute denial. Just to admit you need to improve and look back at your matches and your short selections and play with better players and learn. I just feel as if George is looking at the score now and he might try and start making things happen that I'm nearly way on and Jason's just in total cruise control just now. Total cruise control. I mean, there's George just smashing balls, just trying to make things happen, like I said. And that's sometimes his own you get into at this stage. Um, I mean, Jason, Jason could actually just open his red up here, right? Come off it, leave it white in a position where ah, you're leaving George a finish, right? But George is under all sorts of pressure to take away a, a hard finish at 12 5 down. So I would I would bring this out and just ask George a question here at 12 5 down, at 12 5 up, sorry. And say, right, George, what you got? Cause it's tough. And he's got a better, Jason's got a better chance here. There's a better chance of George not finishing it than Jason finishing it for here. So that's the right shot. Bring this out and just ask a question. Make sure your red's portable. Ah, that's that's not bad. I mean, uh, George has got a shot. He's cut a. Um, there's a finish on, but it's tricky. Ali McCoy, I like Ali McCoy. I think he's class, and I'm not a Rangers man. He is class. Thanks, Declan. I really appreciate that. George has tried to hang the bag there, I think, um, and it's just hugged the rail all the way down, like I said, and that's what I'm saying with that black L on it had, and he's tried to smash, just give it a chance and it'll go, get it close, it'll go, and he's tried to smash it off the knuckle, and there they be frames that you look back on, um, that could have been kind of turning points or um, key factors in the match, if you like. Now George is going for a finish, it's very tough, I mean I don't know if he needs, that, that yell goes by the red, but he's going to have to come back. This is so hard. Now he's just getting down, he's not even properly. He's 
going to play for the one next to the red first. He's not even anywhere close to that. His head is gone. Gone. Just attitude. Um, how quick he even decided on that shot there. Didn't even come round and look at where he wanted the white. Um, like I said earlier, I think he's a different player for money. Tournaments are when they bet him. Um, for money, he seems to do it, and he's got really good bottle. Um, but that there, he's not even went down, looked to where they wanted the white. He's landed out of position, just went down, hit it. And I don't know. Um, I just couldn't do that. See, especially when you get. I, I don't think he's played this two and a half himself, so. As guys, it's back to him. You'd be watching that and saying, what are you doing? I mean, the guys are known they're risking their money, right? But they want 100% effort. And for me, he's went down. I know what happens, your head goes, you're 12 five down. It is hard. I'm not saying it's not hard. But that just looked to me as if I've given up. Um, and I'm not saying, half, I mean, I've done it before. I've done it before. But not with some Delsey's money in this magnitude. Um, yeah, a game and tournament. You've got to just have that um, experience and composure to screw the nut and just believe that as long as you're not in the hill, you can come back and win. Because you still can come back and win. Oh, I mean, that, that black looks dead on that. I think he's went a wee bit too far. This could be a double kiss. This could be a double kiss. I'll tell you what, if he, hit, if he does double it, he's going to have to hit it hard. Because I think this, he's, he's played that far too hard to come up for that. That's a double you've got to leave kind of cut on it. So you're taking a double kiss out of the equation. But now I think it's too close. Um, he could play, say, I don't know if he can smash the double in. He may have to hit it hard, can he? See, that was die. The double, but he played, that's a bad shot. Um, to, leave, to leave that double. He's got to come round the table and look to see, right, where am I leaving this? So it's not a double kiss. There's no point in playing the shot and saying, oh, I've left a double kiss. Um, draw takes the blue cloth. Mate, I, I don't know. I, I think. I think all oh, good players are yeah, the white enough. Oh my goodness me. It's 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 thirteen five guys. Um, and it's not long as if it's going to change anytime soon. Um, the cloth situation. I don't. I, you know, I never hear. Like, I keep referring to these elite guys, right? Because I, that's where the benchmark is. But I never really hear of them kind of complain about cloths ever. Um, they just kind of take what's in front of them and just, just deal with it. Um, don't have any excuses. Because see, at the end of the day, your opponent's playing the same table. And if you're not comfortable with a cloth, or you're not com you, there's, there's plenty of pool halls and tables about for you to go and practice on that. So for me, it's it's only yourself to blame. It, if George has gone to his head like this cough and he just refuses to practice on it, well, that's his own fault. There's no point in feeling sorry for saying, oh, I don't like this cough, got to win on that. Well, go, go practice on it then. Or don't play in a big tournament where it's a blue cough and you know it's going to be a blue cough if that's, if that's what's going to be the excuse. I don't know if that's what he's going to say, mate, if that's what you're saying, but um, for me, it's just the excuses. No, I know Grant, I mean, if he blames the cloth after this, he'll be getting told. Um, because because uh, Jason's went in after the break at least four times. And I think he's capitalised once, max, if he has. Um, he's had plenty of chances. So he's at nobody else to blame. I saw this. Somebody was coming in to um, give their, their take on the match there, Kenny. He's like, oh, George is rotten. I'm like, I know. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I think he's a, a different player for money. Um, but there's been no no excuses here. Um, how many times the white 
Yeah, there's been a few, David. Um, Jason's been off in the break four times at least. At least. George has maybe went once or twice. But I think there's been... I think two dishes, Max. Max. Um, the hard game finished it about 40 minutes ago. Um, and see, to be honest with you, the way that... I <laughs> see, the way, see just the way the, the way the game's been going for the last half an hour. It's you struggle to see how George actually wins an off. Right? I, I'm not just saying that, but just the way momentum goes in matches and how he's he's feeling and his attitude towards that last that last frame. I mean, you couldn't say at the start of the next frame you would have George favourite for it. That's 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 the way I'm thinking. Um, thanks very much, Grant. Um, doing good, mate. I hope you're doing good as well. Um hit my door red and a wee bit of screw. Ah James, this is tricky. This is tricky. Um This 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 finish is tricky, but again, see when you're No, he's not going. And this is what you do. He knows, right? He knows. He's very experienced, like I told you. And he's like, I'm not gonna risk going for a finish that I'm maybe even fifty fifty for. When I can just say, right, um, let George go for a finish. Because he knows he's going to go. He knows his attitude is terrible. So he's like, I'll just, I'll just let him go and make the mistakes and I'll just keep mopping him up. And that is the way, that is the way Jason's playing just now. I can guarantee you. He's been playing for a long time. A lot of experience. And the way George is playing and the way George's attitude has been is definitely having an impact on Jason's short choice. Um... Do, 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 do. Uh, aye. Aye, Paul. Um, doing good, mate. I'm not in a lot of pain. I just I can't see out the eye yet. Um, so I'm using my left eye for money. For for money. For um, eyesight. Which is doing alright. I can get on with things. Still things I can't do. And life has changed a wee bit. But aye, I'm doing as well as I, I can be, mate. I appreciate that. Um, aye, Struan, it's me. Back, back involved, not playing, just commentating. Uh, would it? I know people will probably say that, that you just set up cabbies. I don't agree. I mean, I, I spoke to him this morning. Um, he's here to try and win. So, as simple as that. Um, why does that joke keep talking? What's he doing? Mate, I'm sorry if I'm annoying you. Um, I don't really think it's good for I sit here in silence. Um, I meant to be doing a job, um, but if you don't like it, you can just you can just mute it or whatever. It's hard doing it yourself. You can only do so much, and um, you try to interact with everybody, which is good. I like interacting with people, and I've not, it's not as if I do it often. But if you don't like it, mate, you just you just turn it off. Don't have to listen to it. Aye, Struan, um, mate, you don't want to be doing it if it's if they don't advise you to do it. Just um, just do what the doctor's advised. It's kind of a last resort for that. If you can get the lenses and that in, just keep doing that, mate. And I hope you're well. I hope you're well too, Paul. Cheers, mate. Um, <laughs> don't even know who this guy is. It's slated me, but I was expecting it anyway. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, like I said to you in the last shot, Jason played. Jason played the last shot knowing that George is going to go for the finish, which was tough, especially when you're losing. And it was going to get him a better opening to win the frame. And that's where Jason's experience is kicking in. Um, he's just going to keep mopping up. George is making the mistakes. He knows that. And he, uh, he, he can only play what's in front of you, and that's what Jason's doing, and he's so experienced, he knows what he's doing. George is, he's been playing in his hands a few times, to be honest, going for his, his kind of daft finishes and his short selection, but he's had his chances to win the match, he could have been ahead, 
Um, and Jason just beat clean up his mistakes, and that's all he can do. Fair play. He'll be delighted. He's not played his best. I know Jason. He's not played his best, but he'll be delighted to be this match. He's waiting in the score line. 14-5. It's not over. It's not over, right? I mean, I've seen stranger things happen, but uh, based on the performance so far, we can't see it. But Jason won for here. Um, thanks, Tony. Uh, you too, mate. Um, cheers, Woody. I mean, I mean, listen, I, I, after what was said to me, I don't mind, mate. Um, when you put yourself in this position, you're going to expect that for people, so um, I don't mind. Um, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want the guy blocked, to be honest. They can still watch. Um, doesn't even bother me. You can see what he wants. Thanks very much, Raymond. I appreciate that. Is that. I've actually, it's even I started doing this this morning, I was actually more nervous than I have been playing um, in big pool matches back in the day. Um, so I appreciate that. I'm just trying to keep up with things on my phone as well. I know that race is coming up. Um, if anyone else is on at 2 o'clock, I know somebody put a, a tip up for it, but I don't know if it was a tip, but a selection. So I went with that for the 2 o'clock at Leopardstown for a bit of interest. And then I picked the cut them up. I don't know if MD um, took a note yet. Um, I really, I mean, a lot of these guys watching this now, it's it's good to see these different names. Cause I, I don't know a lot of um, names now because I've been off the scene for so long and um, I've not really been bored with even keeping um, in the, the know of pool. But it's good to be actually back here and I'm seeing all these different names and there's so many good players now and how, how hard it is to win things because there is just so many good players and there's... You see different names at terms IPAs, Ultimate Pool, all these. I'm like, where did they all come from? It used to never be like that. Um, so it's it's brilliant, and the standard is amazing for pool. Um, a lot of guys can beat um, everyone, but when you look at these teams and you actually analyse them, you can see where the mistakes are made, and it's all down to like patterns and shot selection. And sometimes it's just a wee bit of like you're kind of ignorant to. To learn and just watch a good one and, say, and I appreciate that. Um, that was something I was always able to do and just kind of watch him and say, that's the right shot and make it easy for yourself. Um, and that's where the mistakes happen when they, they kind of start having the light travelling and kicking balls. Uh, <laughs> watching me, oh, you wouldn't want to watch me now, mate. I can assure you, but I appreciate that. Um, What's the tip for two? I think it's the second favourite, David. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the second favourite. Somebody commented. I've bet it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I will need to take a wee break soon. Um, is it, oh, is it you? But, oh, James, right. Oh, obviously I'm going to blame you. Who else am I going to blame? Thanks very much, Daniel. Listen, it's a thankless task. Uh, but I'm, I'm wise enough to know that um, not everybody's going to like it, which is fair. So, I have an opinion, it genuinely doesn't bother me. Um, uh, listen, if, if George if George had to go back and if he disagrees with anything that I've said, I'll happily um, explain my analysis to him, not a problem. See, these are going to, this is going to frustrate George. See these kind of frames. Uh, he's, he's. That's. I mean, sometimes that is the right shot, but that's that's unacceptable for me. That shot in the way he's played it, the thought, the lack of thought. This went into it. Um, I mean, you've got. You, I don't think anybody could disagree with me when I say that he's given up 
which we've all done. I've done it. I mean, I've done it, and it's the worst thing to do as well. Your opponent knows. Your opponent knows you've given up. But it's terrible. But it happens. You're all human. You have these emotions. You have these feelings. It does happen. It's hard. It's a mental battle. But with his attitude, short selection, how quick he's playing it, it's hard to disagree with the fact that he's given up. I hope he's not. I hope he's not. You'd like to see a wee bit of grit and determination to try and come back here. But the way it's going and he's got his legs, it's hard to see. Aye, Craig, I know. That's the way it looks as well. AJ, it's... Right. It's a deliberate foul. Like, George knows he's going to deliver it foul, right? But it's not illegal in terms of you can't say because you can just turn and say try to play a two and one like right, you don't lose the frame for it um, as long as you hit your ball first so it's like a tactical kind of thing um, where sometimes it is the right shot because it does give you an advantage but for me there it's not giving me an advantage because Jason always had to do was bring that ball out now he's got one positional shot I don't know if he's on that just now if he was on that just now it'd be great but for me, that wasn't the right shot at that time because Jason was always going to have a chance to bring all these balls out and have a go to finish. Uh, so, but these are the ones at the start of the match. Jason was really struggling. Um, but see, when you're fourteen five up, you see things differently. You're like, oh, I fancy this now. If he can maybe just swear this by the first red and just knock it in. Yep, he's on the bottom one. I mean, that's it. they all go now. By the way, he actually might just pump this long. I don't think it goes by the yellow, the, the yellow so he might just pump this long now. Screw it straight back. I wouldn't say it's a bad shot. I think, I think see, especially when you're 14-5 fi up, they, they pot seem a lot easier. I think that's a shot. Yep, he's going for it. And he, oh, it's not been in, and Jordan's got a chance, he's only one in the middle. Everything goes. Um, I, that's not why they won, you're saying, oh, Jason made the wrong way. I think that was the right shot there, for me. I think it was, he was on the ball, it was a straight pot. You just have to pot the ball, right, he missed it. Right, you missed balls, that's fine. Well, you all missed balls. Um, but, I mean, George, he, he, can't, he can't miss these. There's a few ways you can, he cannot miss these. We only win this game. Yep, it's just all roll ones. Roll, roll. Uh, Scott, I was going to bet the favourite until uh, he commented. George just, uh, uh, he just doesn't look the same. There's something, there's something not right, but 14-6, uh, first to 18. You can't, you can't count him out, see especially, the way I look at it, when I'm playing a match, or when I used to play, as long as the guy's not in the hill, you want to keep him off the hill for as long as possible, and you've still got a chance. You've still got a good chance. And that's the way George should be thinking. If I was him, I'd be like, right, I'm going to get myself a glass of water, but take two minutes and refocus. Get out of that zone of giving up. Because if you're giving up, there's no point in playing. You've been there and done it. I've, you've, I've conceded matches with frames to go because that's the way I was in. I was like, I can't even win this match anyway, just shake the hand. So he needs to get into this zone and believe that he can win. Or oh, there's no point. Um, on that note, I'll be back in five.
how low. Uh, sorry about that. I just try to sort a couple of things out. Um, a couple of guys here that could easily come in, but they're too they're too shy. I think. Um, who's blocked? Bernard been blocked. Oh my good! It wasn't me. It wasn't me that blocked him. Um, I can take the the criticism. If people that don't like me. I'm not going to be the best commentator. It's not my job. Um, I just, I'm just, I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing things how I see it. Um, so I expected people not to like it. Um, and if they want to voice, if they want to voice that, that's that's within their right to do so. So I, I don't mind. Um, but I think I've lost. Uh, so how did the uh, how did that horse go at two o'clock? Who knows? Who won? Welcome back. <laughs> Hi, sorry. Hello? Hey, I was, I. Hi there, sorry, there was um, a couple of technical issues there, um, second beat by an egg, favourite was third, oh well, I'm glad the favourite never won anyway, major, price is George for the match, wouldn't dog, uh, <laughs> oh, 14 eight. I, I missed the last couple of frames there, was a way, obviously he's beginning to get a bit of momentum back, which I said he had to, um, I still think he's a big price for here. Um, it's just, it, Jason's not even had to work hard for this 14 8 lead. So, oh, if I was a bookie, I would probably have. Um, 
Mm, I don't know. 14 8 and he's to win. 10 3. Nice. Sixes. Sixes anyway. I, I mean, I, I, I don't like giving prizes. I'm not taking the bet. Um, Right, that's good you can hear me. I know there was a someone get disconnected when I was away. And he's miscued again. That's three times. Right? Three times he's miscued in this match, right? For somebody that hits the ball so well. Um snooker background, used to hitting middle of the way. Um so if there's no tip problems, which I don't think there is because I, I don't imagine you come to a tournament like this with a dodgy tip. Um, that's lack of concentration and care for me. Uh, three times, that's three times he's done that. Um, which no doubt, um, I think that would probably be if he loses. But he's number one excuse, a dodgy tip or something, usual. Oh see, they're Jason again, he's not even going for it and daft, he's going to clip off this and try and snooker. Um, don't really like that shot to be honest, um, the finish was there for me, he was on the ball up the line. All I had to do was pot it and he was on his next one and you're now giving your opponent a chance that he shouldn't have got. So I sometimes there is a, there is a time to be safe and whatever, but that for me that was the wrong shot. And... He's now got a, a free Joe, a free go, if you like. And Liverpool are 2 0 up, penalty. Um, Fabinho scored, I think. I think Salah, Salah must have got taken off. Um, let me see. Right, so Jason now, um, I think he's, he's, I think he's looking at an R safety again. Um, I think looking at the players this weekend, um, and just what I've seen so far, I know Jason a wee bit. I've played him a couple of times. I think at the IPA, um, he's probably the most kind of conservative player out of everybody in the tournament, out of everybody in the field. Um, I don't think he'll push the boat out as much as the rest of the, the rest of the guys. Which is, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing. Um, it's just it's just your game and um, how you play. But if you look at the top players and um, how people are winning tournaments and stuff, it's it's all about being positive and aggressive and um, being kind of not negative, but. Allowing your opponent in too much didn't seem to be the way forward and using the percentages for them and saying, right, I don't know if they'll get that. Um, so I'd rather just let them, let them have a go instead of me. Um, whereas the top players would say, right, well, I'm just going to have a go then. Um, come on, George, fire it up. Rope a dope. But it's definitely not rope a dope. It's definitely not. Uh, did that roll out? No, I don't think so, mate. Um, like I said, these tables, I see, see if we do see anything roll or anything like that, I think it'll be like a chalk mark or something, because these have been, like, they're constantly, these crashed into balls again that didn't have to, um, it's worked out not too bad, um, the black's going to be his kind of tricky one, but if you leave the one in the middle to your last ball, you're just dropping that down for the black in the other middle, so you're looking at the plant here, then take the hanger, take the top two, middle last and then black in the other middle, that's the easiest way to go here. Uh, you still want to be dropping this in, leaving yourself kind of bridging again, um, which looks kind of inevitable depending on how hard you hit it. And you're not going to hit it too hard in case you two and one. So you might actually want to just hit this a wee bit harder in case you do hit two and one, and then you're going to be on the top one. Um, so leave yourself options here. That's what he's done. That's exactly what he's done because he knew it was a chance of two and one. So he's played it a bit harder to say, right, I'm going to have a shot at this at the top. He's a wee bit unlucky to land bridging here actually, so he might opt to just clip the one in the middle first, um, instead of having the awkward one bridging. Again, it's personal preference and how I think, but that middle one's uh, it's a good ball for the black. So yeah, that's why he's having a think, and he's weighing off his options. 
It's about how confident you are and how you're feeling queuing wise. Because all you need to do is pot this ball. But it's tough. Oh, he's jabbed at that. He's not cured that at all there. He's kind of jabbed at that. Um, I'm not saying it's the wrong shot. It's just how you're feeling at that time. I mean, see if you're confident to banging that ball in there, it's the shot. But see if you're on the shot and you're not feeling comfortable and you know you've got that hanger there. Just take it. You've got two balls to figure out where you want to kind of get on the black. Um, but that, that's, 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 that's a big frame. I mean, 14-9, it's not over. And you know the way the match is, George is going to get chances. Uh, like I said, Jason's not been steamrolling him here. He's going to get chances. Yeah, that's, that's a big frame. It's not 14-9. Um, it's game on. Well, that's it. Too many finishes. I just I can't see any problems here. They're just all. It's just kind of you're just joining the top the dots here. Um, I would probably be taking the, the one to the corner first here and coming back out for the choice. Yep. Bit pacey. Oh, he's playing two cushions, yep. So middle, corner, middle. Um, and it's 14-9. I wouldn't give 61 now. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, yep. 14, I think there's going to be a delay in the next match um, because that is due to start in less than 40 minutes. Um, I mean, it could be finished in time, but they'll still have to kind of recover the table. The referee will need to get a break and stuff like that. I've got one, mate. Cheers, Paul. Um, so, I. It's an interesting match this because it's not as if I know Jason's got a, a big lead here, but it's not as if um you're looking and saying, Oh, he's got he's got like five breaks left and he's gonna break and dish them. George is gonna get chances based on what's happened so far. Um so if George can screw the nut, get a positive attitude on, he definitely can come back and win this. I'm not saying he's favourite, I still want to, obviously Jason's a heavy favourite, but it's I mean I've seen stranger things happen, put it that way. So I don't think the way the match has been played suits George. It's been quite long frames and KJ and a wee bit tactical at times. Um, I think he would rather just kind of one visit stuff and quite fast paced. There's a ball off the break. Um, but that's the bit, you've got to deal with these things. It's not an excuse, it's part of the game. Ah, uh, Ryan, I know, mate, it's it's why they ones, Ryan, it's, like, you think to yourself, like, you fancy winning the next couple of frames with momentum and stuff like that, but then Jason's just broke here, and, I mean, he's left, they're not, they're not dollies, but, I mean, at these standard, these tournaments, you've got to be willing to take these away, because you're coming to these tournaments, you've got to be sharp, right? I mean, for me, right, you've been playing every day for the last, say, month, right? It's, it's your priority. That's the way I used to look at it. This is your priority, right? I've got this next month or a couple of months. I'm going to practice so hard. I'm arranging matches every week. Um, so finishes like this should be like your bread and butter, right? You get a ball in the middle here. They take away the top two next and then leave um, three down the bottom for last. That's all he has to do here. Now, I don't know why, I mean, he's looking to drop, you, you need to leave this one now, you're not, you're not on this properly, I don't think, I, unless he drops it dead weight, but for me, these three down here were your last balls, and it's just all drop-ins. Um, I don't know if he can even drop this in and land on it. I, um, you just think it. You don't want to land on top, top side of this here. Um, I think you just soft screw it back for in the middle and then take the last, the, the other two last, but you're just not going to be perfect on the balls um, this way. But um, there's a few ways you go, but I say it's the wrong way. You still like leading the self positional shots and things, playing my side and touching balls and whatever. 
George wins this match. This is, it's interesting the fact that a lot of people think George's going to win and Jason's on an, an absolute dolly. Um, that's a good shot. Oh, he's a wee bit pacey. This is what I'm saying. Seeing you, you end up leaving these shots instead. They used to have been three roll ins for your last balls. Right? Literally three roll ins. Corner, corner, middle, black. Instead, he's now got a shot in the corner of the middle. I think he might try and soft screw it. He's having to play an opposition shot. Probably leave it a tricky pot. And they're missable now. They're missable now. Whereas two shots ago, they were unmissable. Um, he needs to hold this here. It's a delicate shot. You're avoiding the middle bag. You don't want the cushion to slide, and he's played it brilliant. He's played it perfect. I mean, you can't play it much better than that. He's actually played it really good. He's landed straight. Um, that is a great shot because you're fucking in the middle bag there, um, and it's, it wasn't as easy as it looked. Put it that way. So I, I know people that would maybe screw this back here for the corner and some people like playing for the middles. It's just this is again up to your um, personal preference. Um, for me, I would just probably drop it and play the middle because you're guaranteed that shot. Um, I mean, that's that's unforgivable. Uh, oh my goodness, me, he's flicked it. Um, that's sick. That That's sick. That, you see, that's something that... Oh, I cannot... I mean, how can you miss the pot? Oh, I can't believe that's fell. I knew it was getting close as well, but I can't believe it's fell. Look at this, he's screwing back to... Oh. That was crazy. That full frame. Um, oh, my goodness. I mean, I can't believe he's missed the pot. I, st I can't believe it's flipped. I mean, that's. Oh. I, I don't. I don't know how you miss the pot. You screwed it back. It wasn't a kick. It was straight on it. It was a straight straight back. But like I said again, I'd like to know. I'd like to see. I don't know how many of the people think there, but they have dropped it in the middle. Dropped it in for the ball in the middle or screwed it back. For me, if you drop it in, you're guaranteed the shot in the middle. Whereas you're screwing it back, you're, you're having to judge pace, you can overscrew it, underscrew it, snook yourself. I'd like to know what people think about that. Um, it worked out, he landed on the ball, but he flicked it. Um, but I'd like to know what, what people would have done there. Um, roll it in, roll your last ball in there, or screw it back. Yeah, like Jason did, what would you have done? That's massive. Oh, massive frame, mate. Roll it in. Um, thanks, Glenn. Oh, that's a huge frame. 14, 10, 15, 9. What a difference, especially with that break of momentum. Because he did have the momentum there. And you could tell Jason was feeling it, or he would never have missed that ball. Um, if George was playing even 70%, he'd win this match comfortably. See, you can see how he's been poor, right? I, I mean, I've seen Hill better. But you can... Sometimes you, it's, they can, uh, you can only play what's in front of you. And sometimes the match atmosphere and dynamics impact on how you play. And sometimes you're not playing at a level um, based on what's happening in the match. But in a way, I mean, you, sometimes people get dragged down by other players and stuff like that. It's crazy. And then you could turn up the next game and just start dishing. Um, it bounced off the cushion and would have been missing another pocket by about two or three inches and it rolled back to the top cushion. I don't know, mate, if there was a roll, if it did roll in, it's hard to tell you um, for this angle on the screen. Um, but, like I said, Morgan, you'd have played the screw. I think it's just, like I said, it's your, it's your personal preference. Um, I think when you screw it back and play it perfect, you'd leave an easier pot. But... Um, Things can happen where you can overscrew it and not actually land on it as great as you are guaranteed to land on it in the middle. So that's kind of where I, I look at it. Um, I look at guaranteed shots, especially when you've got a tap in. Um, he's landed in this ball in the corner, which is straight, and it actually makes things so much easier. Um, everyone's just going Jason's way just now. Um, it's George is probably sitting there just thinking, oh, I'm just going to get buckled tonight. Um, 
Might end up in the booth, don't know. Uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, David, I know we might not have hit the middle of the right, I know it's important. Um, I just couldn't believe you missed the pot. I just, uh, you, the, oh, you look at the pot, it's just, you think it's unmissable, especially at this level, but I know it might sound harsh, but the, uh, you can't miss them in this tournament. You, you can't. And he's missed it, obviously, get away with it, but stuff like that you can look back on and say, right, that's, that's my fault, I need to improve or whatever. Um, George might, I mean, I'm not saying he's lost the match yet. Um, because it's so late in the game, he'll probably look at that saying that's the biggest factor and that's the biggest thing that happened in the match. Um, I agree, it was it was massive in terms of the context of the game and the scoring and George was getting a bit of momentum um, and Jason was obviously feeling it or he wouldn't have missed the pot and that it was just, it, it has kind of stopped that rot that George was in um, and George might say that I was going to win if that didn't happen, right? And to a certain extent, you can see, aye, that was your good chance of winning, that you're on that roll. But the chances and shots he's missed before that are unexcusable. Um, so I wouldn't be accepting that um, solely for the reason of losing, if he does lose. There's too many other chances he's had. I know what... Oh, Steed, uh, is it the same as Faro? See, now you've said that, I'm going to notice it. I wish you didn't say that. Um, you don't see, see with the screen, you don't see what... Wait a minute, you can't really see what he's doing, what Chalky's with his pot. I imagine that it's probably the same as Faro, if that's what you're saying. Is it? Am I right, Steed? How many have we got here now? Um, 468. There was only like 270 earlier on. Um, I'd be interested to know how many were watching yesterday, and um, I always do feel George does get the viewers because um, his character. That's what Eden pull. He's great for the game. Um, and. I'd love to, I don't even know how to do stuff like that, but I'd love to have a poll um, with people saying like, they want him to win or want to see him beat, because I know you either you love him or hate him, or oh, Steed, I'm glad I can't see it because it would drive me mad, um, It's I, d I don't understand it, but what, what Steed is talking about, um, I'm imagining that Jason um, chalks his cue with his left hand, but keeps it in his, keeps the chalk in his right pocket. So you're constantly taking the chalk out, swapping over the cue with the chalk in hands, and then swapping it back. Um, aye, doesn't make sense. But I think that's what he's talking about. Um, I asked Farrell, my, my mate David Farrell, um, a brilliant player, he does it. And he said he does it because it kind of slows him down sometimes, I don't know. It's it's nuts. I don't know why you wouldn't put your chalk in the pocket that you, um, that's close to the hand you're going to use. Um, I Derek, first couple of weeks were hard in um, getting used to different things and different routines and how life has changed but I'm just getting on with it now, um, certain things I can't do but just taking care, doing everything the doctor says, the medication, I'm in here now buddy, loads of jobs, I'm taking jobs while I'm speaking and whatever but aye, as well as it can be mate. Can I see, but it's it's going. That's the way it's meant to be for a while, apparently. So I going well, thanks, mate. Um, George again. The, the toughest thing here for George is probably the black. Getting back in the black. Um, cause he's going to. He's probably going to leave the one below the black to last. So you can either play a shot where you're just kind of dropping that in and playing the black to the top left corner. Um. Like that, I think that's what he's going to do. It's just like a wee soft screw here, and you play the black. You just like to land straight in the black to the top left corner, or you can over screw and play for the middle. But you're guaranteed that in the corner, 
Um, he's trying to kick it, which is just absolutely crazy. Ah, they just that is just a joke of a shot, honestly. But I'm, I'm just not having that shot. He could have sort of screwed that for a straight back in the corner. I don't know what he's expecting to do when he kicks that. I, s I honestly don't. Um, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> what, 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 I mean, what, what, what else does he want? Oh my God, he's fucked it. I mean, that, see that? Uh, that shouldn't be allowed after that shot. Um, I can't wait. I, I'm, I'm, I'm noting that down. I can't wait to speak to him after this and ask him what his thought process was there. Um, we try to move that black. There was absolutely no need to move that and he's got away with murder. Away with murder. Unbelievable. I mean, I, it's, this is where you have to have mental strength. I'd be sitting there if I was Jason, what? Just absolutely beyond. Even though I was 16 10 up, I'd still be absolutely seething. Seething. And now he's just broken left dollies. Um, I mean, the black's in the middle of the table in this frame, so surely he's not allowed to kick this out. Um, initially, when you look, the yellows. I don't know if he's got an easy opener. He's not. I don't know if he's on a yellow to start off with. Um, so uh, the, reds, the reds are alright as well. Lad. In fact, the reds are actually I mean, actually makes sense. If he's on, it just depends what his easier spot is here. This is just your opener. But I don't see um, a, a, a wrong one. I see a tough opener for your first ball. He's nailed it, and he's he's bang on. Yep. Um, I don't see any issues here. Get rid of the ones down the table, work their way up. Three down here, then in the middle. You can either screw across for the one over the side first or leave it to last. Um, ah, that's that's that was so big. Oh, see, you can see the side is not taking as well as the players are expecting to take, and that's these co these cushions because they're, they're new, they're fine. Um, don't get me wrong. If if you do play that short, you should give yourself that. There's no real excuse because you you should know that. Um, you should know that they slide a wee bit and they don't take it the first cushion as well. Um. But this should be 16-11. Um, I'm not saying that George is going to win for here and Jason's under all sorts of pressure, but you've got to start somewhere for a comeback. Um, uh, Richard, um, I, I just don't get it. I don't get why he was trying to move it. It just didn't make sense to me. But I don't know. How, how well do you want to land on a black when you've got a shot to land? Straight in the corner. I mean, how well do you want to land on it? And he's trying to move it. Did you want to knock it over the bag? Just, that doesn't make sense. And he can argue with me till the cows come home. Uh, so he's got a, a dolly here for 16-11. He's took it out. Um, it, it looks as if he's just kind of letting the arm go now. Um, so, I'm, uh, he's definitely not beat. Like I said, the, the biggest thing when you're looking back in a game is keeping your opponent off the hill. So as long as Jason's off the hill, Jason Hill's off the hill, um, with a laugh arm, um, you still get a chance. But it is harder, when they only need one frame, it is harder. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to, I'm now trying to pick out a cut because I've just realised it's 23. Uh, super fine cloth, I had, mate, I think it's the, Simonis, or whatever it's called, fine blue cloth, I don't know, it's not the Hainsworth match. He 
Eight six one, yep, yeah, aye. I think that's what it is. Like I said, I'm not in the know of this kind of thing anymore. Um I know it's not the Hainsworth match. Right, so Right, who thinks George can come back? I don't know. Um seriously though. Five hundred people watching for a George comeback. Um, Barry Lynn just having a wee hit on the other stream table. He's about to play da -da 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 -da. Daz Cheatham again, another guy I've not seen. Um, I don't know anything about him, so it's hard for me to comment. Um, I looked at the bookies' prices, they're a, they're a bad mess. See, I just don't think. Who, who plays one of this? Who's it one of this got? Um, Brian Cumming. I mean, if I'm if I'm Brian Cumming, I'm 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 looking at this game and saying this is a good draw for me. Um, I don't care if people think I'm being harsh or that's that's you shouldn't be saying that, but that's the way I look at it. If I was Brian, I'd like look at the chances I'm going to get based on this. I'm going to get a chance in maze frames, so it's going to be down to me and my performance. Nothing else to blame. Um, aye. I see. If I was Brian, I'd be like, "Aye, this is, this is good for me, regardless of who wins." There's just it, it's, there's nobody, there's nobody really kind of setting a target or setting a bar and saying, "I'm playing so good, you need to do this." It's like a rally. So sixteen by the way, sixteen twelve, this is important for George. Um he, again he's run out of position there. And they wee shots at the start of the match, you were like, I you're trying to set it in, right? But when you've played all these frames and you're playing kind of slap pistol shots like that and overscrewing things with so much it's it's schoolboy errors and making it hard for yourself. Now he's running into balls. It's actually good to move that out of the way. So there's actually a couple of things you can do here. I wouldn't disagree with any way going here. It just depends how you feel just banging the top one in the now and what your angle is here. Um, because if you play the bottom one first, you need to kind of land straightish on the, the top one. Because if you land kind of half ball, you're screwing off cushions, you know it'll leave a good black. So I, I don't I don't kind of disagree with taking this one first, to be honest. Um, it just depends what you're comfortable with. I, I think that one, if you're just even just like a wee bit straight in that, it's just like a wee soft screw. I think that could be the shot, which you're guaranteed to just put the, the bottom one and bounce up to basically where the white is now for the black. Aye, Scott, I mean, like I said, he, all Jason's done is basically just um, pass the buck to George most frames with tricky finishes and saying like right, on you go I'll just clean up I'll just clean up after you make after you make a mess of it. Um which is which like going forward uh alright mate um going forward against like top players and stuff that isn't the way to go because they will just clean up but he's just basing on um he's alright he's got a shot I don't know why he's trying to kick balls and all that um he's just basing on the way George is playing but it's Quite clever actually. Um, I don't know why George hit that so hard. I don't know if he was, if he was trying to hit the red to hold. Um, I mean, I just probably well, checked it up middle of the table, guaranteed a shot. This is tough, but if he have it a chance, it'll, it'll drop in. That's twice he's missed it to the far knuckle. Twice. 
twice he's missed it to far knock I'm not saying a million miles away, I'm not saying he's a pot, right? I'm not I would never I'm not gonna say George you lost this match because of that black. But it's twice he's missed it to that side. Um It was a good finish up to then. That's a, it was a tricky black. I know it wasn't a gimme. But at this at this stage and this level you you need to be potting him. You're trying to get back into a match. But he's going to, I think he will get a shot. I mean, you could go game here. I would be tempted, see, unless you can get a, unless you can get a snooker that's at least, what, a few cush, a couple of cushions, right, and it's hard. Right, you can play that. But you can actually go game here. And you can double the one in the side cushion and leave that one right there next to the black for your last comp, for a combo in the black, which is a, which is a tap in. If you leave the white there, you can't miss that. So, I would be tempted to go game here instead of playing a snooker. I know you're looking at it and saying, oh, the obvious shot's a snooker. But see, unless it's a, a nailed on two shots, but he can't hit it, I wouldn't risk that. I wouldn't give somebody a, like a one cushion escape to hit a black over the bag. I'd be tempted to go game here. Just take the one long and out straight, and then you've got so many options down here. You can double the one in the side cushion, you can kick it out. And just leave the one next to the black as a combi. You cannot miss that if you land the right there or anywhere close to that. You cannot miss it. It's a good chance. Um, I don't know about that shot. I can't see exactly what Jaws can do, but at first glance it feels like a, a swerve off the bottom knuckle. Um, I would, I'd, I would definitely have rather had a go there. I would have, and I'm, I play percentage pool when I played, and um, I think in that instance you took the, the straight one, and then at, at worst you've got a hard double in the side cushion, and then you've got a, a combi. Uh, I don't know who else agrees with me. If they'd have played a snooker, I'd have um, went kind of what I said. But it's, again, it's whatever you think. I don't know. Does it look good if George has to do this? But um, oh, he's hit the red and he's missed. He's lost it. That's that's so bad. That's so bad. Um, at worst, you've got to miss it the other side because it's a bigger target the other side. You can hit the cushion, flick it in. It's that's bad. That's bad. Just another gift for Jason. And that's what Jason's done. I mean, I, I, that's why he'd probably think to yourself, I don't need to force that shoe here and go for a mad finish because um, the way it's going, um, everyone's going my favour, I don't need to force that shoe. But me personally, I'd have went game there um, because it was an easy combi, especially in these super fine cloths. All you've got there was a double to play. Unless you kick it out. Uh, Ryan, I agree, mate. I agree, buddy. Um, that's how you win tournaments, being aggressive and not giving your opponent a chance. Because at the end of the day, if George plays that well, he's potted the black, and that's it, frame over, 16-12. When Jason could have went game. It's all right, hindsight, and you're looking at results um, based on your being results oriented and saying all about it, didn't they? But, these have happened. Uh, aye, I think George is gone. I think it's kind of. I can't see him just taking it away. Seven uh, finishes and not giving Jason a chance. Um, so it's kind of inevitable, I think, that Jason's going to um, finish this match off. Ah, exactly, Ryan. At worst, at worst, he was going to have a double on the, the bad red and then a combi in the, 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 the one next to the black. At worst. But if you watch the full game, Ryan, you would, I mean, I can understand why he's done it like that. It's just, it's, I, I don't think, I feel bad saying this because it is easy sitting here saying that when you're not playing and you've played bad on stream before and people are slated you, which I have never minded, people will slate me if they want. But I'm being honest, I don't think you'll probably see um, a worse standard match this weekend. Um, 
and that's no disrespect to any two players because they'll probably tell you the same they're capable of a lot more um, but there's been chances in so many frames and for a two and a half grand a man tournament at this level it should really be happening if I'm being honest um, so if Jason gets over the line here he'll be delighted but he will need to step it up in his next match because he won't get the same he won't get the same chances George not caring now. Oh, it's that way. I mean, it's hard, mate. It is hard, right? I've been there and it looks as if you don't care and you know, you're trying and you feel as if everyone's going against you. Um, it's, it's not a nice feeling. It's not a nice situation to be in. But like I said, um, I don't know how he prepared for this tournament. Um, I think somebody said that he only arrived he flew over this morning. And stuff like that. I mean, they for me these things all make a difference. I would never have done that if I, if you're playing a two and a half grand a man tournament this Saturday at eleven o'clock in the morning. For me, I'm there at the latest dinner time on the Friday. Get there, a couple of hours hit, something to eat, get settled into your digs, and you're up the next morning fresh. He's turning up for the the airport with shorts and t-shirts on. Um, gets told he can't. He, he's not allowed to play with that on. He has to go to Tesco. This and that. I mean, it's just it's just bad preparation for me. It's just all these kind of things make a difference, and he's got nobody to blame by himself. I don't know why you would turn up, dress like that, and fly over that morning. It's probably excuses that people look for. It. For me, it's just that there's kind of schoolboy stuff that you you plan for. Um, Rooney, what this what would the score have been if Matt Cole was playing one of these two today? Off. Oh, well, I think there's been one or two dishes, so barring that, it'd be like 18 2 or something. So, George has got dollies here. I mean, so all you can do is just keep finishing what's in front of him 17 12 and just hope that Jason does they fall over the line because the way it's gone, Jason, Jason is going to probably get an absolute golden chance um, to win the match. And George is going to have to just hope that he doesn't take it out. Um, so George is in the zone now that your arms are away, you're basically hitting to yourself, you're beat, but he'll just finish him in front of you and hope that he misses.
Hi there, sorry I missed the break. Um, I don't know how to vote, 17-12, I think it was George's break. So I'm imagining someone wants to correct me, this is from the break. Um, at first glance, the yellows looked good until that shot. I don't know if, I don't think he's actually, I think he has to play a wee half ball cutting at the corner now. Um, I'm just trying to catch up. George takes me off. So, see, you see a lot of these guys copying George's stuff and you just don't know if they're being serious or not. Um, I mean, I don't take them serious, that's for sure. Um, I would, Ryan, I'd like to have seen Brian George, and I think it'd been a good crack, um, a good match. I think George would have played better, because um, he's got that kind of past, if you like, with, with Brian and the all you Dundee boys, it'd have been a good laugh. Um, but I think, um, I, I think I'll, I'll be betting Brian um, to beat whoever here, to be honest. Um, he, he just, he's, I've not, listen, I don't watch pool much anymore, I don't know who's doing what, but I know Brian is a wee bit more clinical, and that's important, clinical, than this, than what I've seen here. There's been too many chances, too many chances for this level, for me. Um, but, I mean, you're getting three, sometimes three chances at a frame, which is, which is not up to standard, um, like it or not. Uh, the winner of this will be rubbing their hands. Uh, well, we'll see regardless, right? If Jason does go over the line, he's going to be, he's going to, he's going to be delighted. Like he doesn't care what his performance is. He's through, and he can go back and reflect and say, right, this is what I need to do for the next game. I'm not saying he can't win his next game, um, but what he will need to improve, and he'll probably know that he's been a bit, he's been a bit long enough to know that he will have to improve. Um, so. He's been about long enough to know that he'll have to improve, so I'm not saying Brian's a stick on for his next game, but he will be feeling confident after watching this. And you shouldn't really look, look and say, oh, and base it on other people's performance. It's in your hands at the end of the day, but it does give you that wee boost. Um, beats him blindfolded, Roscoe. Oh, I don't mate, I don't know who you're talking about when you're referring to that. Mike beats George. Ah, Mate, you're at it. Um, George is happy, Jason. Mate, a bit. Brendan, I don't know. Possibly. Uh, I would like George to win as George Bay again. Aye, mate, I, I mean, you, 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 do, you want George to win, you like watching him, and it's, it's good for the spectators and it's good for the game. Um, but, I mean, based on this performance, you can't expect to win. Uh, cheers, Robert. Mate, it's been, I've, I've actually really enjoyed it, I've actually really enjoyed it, I feel as if the time's flown by, what is three o'clock, I feel like I got a bet on, um, probably, a good, probably a good thing. Um, aye, cheers mate, it's, aye, you've got to think it's over now, um, 100% Barry, um, aye, I, I mean, Barry's, I can't remember. aye, Barry, he was having a hit earlier on, I think they've made a mess of this, here, wait a minute. Uh, they've got their own names on the other stream table. They've got, um, I think Craig will need to sort that out. I don't know if you he can hear me. He's got Sean Walsh and Richie. And he'll, 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 he will change it. He will change it, but there's a mistake in our stream table with the names. But I mean, Barry Lynn has just kicked off against uh, Daz Cheatham. So I think the next, I think what they've done is they've, there's, there's been a wee bit of a technical error. I think that's the next stream game. And it's just went to that one. But aye, it's Barry Lynn against Daz Cheatham. I think it's just kicked off. I don't know if Barry's just practising or not. I might be wrong. Um, thanks very much, mate. Appreciate it. I've, mate, I have enjoyed it. It's been good um, being involved again and actually starting to um, learn about other players that I don't know. I was hoping for Tierney if you coming later. I, uh, Aye, no, I know, mate. But I still think the game of the day will be um, Steed against Declan Duff. I know on form, right, you probably will have Declan Duff favourite based on what performances and what they saying. Um, but I wouldn't write Steed off. It doesn't matter like, how much he's not played and 
he's not been at this level for a while and he's capable of turning it up. I know that for a fact. He's got great bottle and for these kind of things you need bottle. Have all the ability in the world, right? But see if you not get bottle, you won't you won't win. Sorry, um, I was just sorting out um, what's happening next. A couple of boys coming to the booth. Um, Peter Fisher, it's uh, David Rooney. Nearly finished, actually. We're a bit late. Um, Derek, I appreciate that. It might actually have to be my new career because I might not be able to play anymore. So, um, it might be. I've enjoyed it. Sorry, I've not been able to. And I didn't see us. I mean, there's a couple of chances in this last, this last frame. George should have finished it for the break and then played a slack shot. Um, I think he's got three quarters of a bag here for this one. Um, no, he's not even played it. It's a, it's a decent shot, that. It is a decent shot, which I actually find it hard to play them, especially when you're losing, because you just think that you're everything against you and you end up leaving that pot. Um, but Jason's got a shot here, right? Um, he can actually play. I don't know how much of the he can see, if he can see it full ball or not, but he can. What's happening here? Sorry, I don't know if, I, if I'm being stupid or not there, but I just. I didn't know it was a foul. Can somebody tell me what happened there? Was it was the ball frozen? I don't know. Wow, if that was frozen, that's a terrible. That's a terrible shot. If they established that before the shot. Now Jason's got roll ones for the match. I mean this is <laughs> I mean when you're seventeen twelve up when you get two shots with three balls left, it's 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 a gift. And he's had a lot of gifts this match. Ball was frozen. Oh, that's a terrible shot for George then. That's there's no excuses for that. I mean that is terrible. If that ball's frozen, you can't even play that shot. Cause you're not guaranteed with the bite. It's just terrible. Well, there's no excuses. He better come into this box after this. No, I know he wasn't stuckered, but the yellow the yellow came off, but it was it was frozen, that's why. Um now Jason's got a, a dolly black here for eighteen twelve. And listen, I will not take it away for Jason. He's won the match, I'd be absolutely buzzing if I was him. But he will know himself, he will have to dig deep for the next match and improve. But it doesn't matter, he's through. Eighteen twelve, five to four year door pre flop. Um well done, mate. Um, it's no easy as well. He maybe felt a bit of pressure on playing Jaws Tierney. He's like the he's like the money man. He knows everybody's going to be watching. Um, so good result. George wasn't at the races for me. Played some terrible, terrible shots. Um, I can try and get him in for a wee five minutes. If he's won, I don't know, he might, he might not be interested to be honest with you, see if I was him, I, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I'd probably be either straight out the door or um, ordering a bottle of vodka, one of the two, depends how you're feeling, um, so I don't know if he'd be interested to come into the box, but I'll try, I'll, I'll say to him. But aye, for me that's, I mean I've, I've watched him there a few times, um, 